award-winning Ball Game Blitz Sports Network from Worthy Road Studios. Over 750,000 views in 2023. We're where you need to advertise. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and join over 4,500 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union University, Methyl, USJ, TCA, Jackson Christian, Sacred Heart, and Peabody. Multi-camera broadcasts, slow motion instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to our sponsors who make it all possible. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network from Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee. And good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Ball Game Blitz TV Sports Network, produced by Worthy Road Studios on the uh, Trinity Christian Academy Facebook page. This is a copyright broadcast of Worthy Road Studios for 2024. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, editing, or further use of the Ball Game Blitz broadcast without the expressed written consent of Worthy Road Studios is strictly prohibited. My name is Stan Gerard, and welcome to what's going to be an interesting day of baseball right here on the Ball Game Blitz Broadcast Network. We come to you early this afternoon. We were supposed to take the air at 545. About an hour ago, I received word that this game was being moved up and we're supposed to have first pitch at 4 p.m. for this game. There's apparently a threat of rain tomorrow, and they thought it was serious enough that they moved the, the Tuesday game up to today, and that will be played as part of a doubleheader action here at Trinity Christian Academy. Game one will be Jackson Christian at TCA. TCA coming into this ball game. They have a record of nine and six on the season. Uh, be real honest, I do not know what the Jackson Christian record is. That, that information was not provided to us before the broadcast of the game. Again, we welcome by the broadcast. We'd like to remind you that you're a or the you're a Sponsors for this ball, ball broadcast this afternoon are Carlock Nissan, Aloha Pools, Jones Chevrolet, The Blacksmith Restaurant, Dynamics Physical Therapy, Humboldt Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, Elite Dental, The Bank of Jackson, and McCoy's Heating Air, along with Deaton's Carpet. We'd like to give a special thank you to these sponsors, Foundation Bank, Tennessee Tractor, Waterwell Solution, West Tennessee Bank, Food Right and Farm Bureau Insurance Agent Travis Vance, who sponsor Trinity Christian Academy Athletics all season long. We are hopefully about 10 minutes away from first pitch of this ball game. We're going to take our first break. When we come back, more on the countdown to tip countdown to first pitch pregame show right here on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. Legends never die. But your AC unit might. Routine maintenance and repair by McCoy's Heating and Air now will keep your system running at full capacity and potentially avoid costlier repairs and downtime when you need your AC the most. Our York certified and trained technicians are the best in the game. Go home to comfort with spring maintenance from McCoy's Heating and Air. The Bonus Cash Extravaganza is underway right now at Carlock Nissan in Jackson. In addition to dealer discounts, get another $750 bonus cash on Nissan Sentra, another $750 bonus cash on Nissan Altima, an additional $1,000 bonus cash on Nissan Pathfinder, and $1,250 on Nissan Frontier. Plus, rates as low as 0% and 3.9 for 84 months. The Bonus Cash Extravaganza, underway right now at Carlock Nissan. Van Drive, Jackson. Why go on vacation when you can live on vacation? Aloha Custom Pools will help you create your very own piece of paradise and you can enjoy it every day. What are you waiting for? Take the plunge. Call Aloha Custom Pools or visit us online. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. 
Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. It's the off season, but it's the best season to buy at Aloha Custom Pools. Snag your dream pool now, and we promise you'll be splashing around by Memorial Day. What are you waiting for? Give us a call or visit us at alohacustompools.com. We realize you have a busy lifestyle, and at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. And welcome back to Train Christian Academy. My name is Stan Jarrett. We await the start of the Jackson Christian at TCA baseball game. As you can imagine, not much of a crowd here this afternoon. If you're on your way, well, you better get here early. Jackson Christian at TCA will be kicking off here. Supposedly, our first pitch of this ball game at around 4 p.m. is what I'm told. We're going to go ahead and give you these starting lineups right now. First for Jackson Christian in the outfield, you'll be JT Mullins, Easton Jones, and Jack Collins. Your infield left to right will be Zach Creasy, C.J. Vargason, Reed Cooper, and Daniel Green. Pitching will be Austin Kelly, and catching will be Eli Smith. The starting defensive lineups for a TCA in the outfield left to right, C.J. Lewis, Zane Atwood, and Connor Quarles. The infield will be Nick Jones, shortstop Owen Atwood, Harris Smith at second, and... Harrison Vance at first base for TCA. I've got some things screwed up in my roster already, Harrison Vance. The pitching duel for TCA today, it's going to be Andrew Perry taking the bump and receiving him today will be catcher John Brooks. Let's take a look at some of the numbers for TCA in this ball game, some of the batting numbers for this TCA team. Leading back for TCA coming to this ball game this afternoon. This is going to be Max Richardson batting even 400. 45 play appearances, 18 hits, 11 singles, five doubles, a couple of triples on a big max. He's got 19 RBIs. He's scored seven runs, and he's walked seven times. Other hit leading hitters for TCA Nick Jones, the third baseman, he's batting 341. On 44 play appearances, 15 hits, 11 singles, two doubles. He's got 14 RBIs, and he's scored five runs, and he's walked six times. Taking a look down the lineup, it will be Owen Atwood. He's batting 283 with 46 at-bats, 13 hits, eight singles, four doubles, and a triple, five RBIs. 19 runs scored, and he's walked seven times. His brother Zang Atwood bang 242, 33 at bats, eight hits, seven singles, a double, and 11 RBIs, and his seven runs scored for the Lions on this season. Take a look at some of the pitching numbers. We'll take a look at the Andrew Perry as he's the starting pitcher in tonight's ball game. Andrew Perry coming in this ball game with a with a record of two and two. 
He's pitched 16.1 innings. He's got an ERA of 3.429. He has given up 16 hits, 13 runs, only eight earned runs. He's walked 12. He's struck out a hefty 39 on the season. Other pitching standouts for TCA, Max Richardson. Got the best ERA on the team, 1.117 in 31.1 innings of pitching. He is 3-0 on the campaign to lead TCA. Only giving up 18 hits, 9 runs, only 5 earned runs. He's walked 9 and struck out 22 on the season. Nick Jones, a 2.049 ERA in 13.2 innings. Nick is 1-0 on the season. He's given up 8 hits. Ten runs, four earned runs, eight walks, and eight strikeouts for Slick Nick Jones. We grow closer to the first pitch of this ball game between Jackson Christian and TCA. We're going to take another break. When we come back, more of the countdown to first pitch pregame show right here on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installations, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Hi, I'm Stan Gerard for your local Food Right. Food Right is the home of the butcher. Food Right is proud to sell certified Angus beef. It's the very best there is. All of our beef, signature pork, and chicken products are cut and packed fresh daily by our in store butchers. To feed your family well, Food Right, with 11 locations across West Tennessee, is where you need to go. Have a great day, everyone, and much more importantly, God bless. Hello, I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. Your checking account should offer more than a place to just store your money. Our foundation benefits with high interest accounts include the flexibility of a checking account with tiered interest rates, identity theft protection, cell phone protection, and more. So start a financial conversation with us today by visiting foundationbank.org or calling us on the number at the screen. In the meantime, go Lions! Kinsey Banking Company is an equal housing lender, member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. And welcome back to Trinity Christian Academy. We're just minutes away from the start of this ball game between Trinity Christian Academy and Jackson Christian School. Apparently this will be the first for two. I found out about an hour ago they've taken tomorrow's contest and they're going to play that this afternoon at the conclusion of this ball game. TCA coming to this ball game with a record of nine and seven on the season. I cannot tell you what the Jackson Christian record is. The information was not provided to me before we went on the air this afternoon. But we're just about ready for baseball here, and we'll have the starting lineups. The field has been prepped. It did take some rain last night, but it's looking good. The field was not tarped for last night's Small storms went through, I'm told, but field looks to be in great shape. And we're just about set for baseball. There is a threat of rain this afternoon. Rain, wind looks to be coming a little bit out of the south 
as we speak, and we're just about ready for the starting lineups. Let's go to the public address announcer for those starting lineups. Good, beautiful afternoon, baseball fans. We thank you for coming to Trinity Christian Academy for today's matchup between the Jackson Christian Eagles and your Trinity Christian Academy Lions. We would like to turn everyone's attention to the field as we prepare to announce today's starting lineups. For the Jackson Christian Eagles, leading off batting first at second base, number five, Reed Cooper. Batting second in left field, number seven, JT Mullins. Batting third in center field, number 22, Easton Jones. At cleanup, your designated hitter, number 21, Carson Holt. Batting fifth at third base, number 24, Zach Creasy. Batting six at first base, number 16, Daniel Green. Batting seventh at pitcher, number one, Austin Kelly. Batting eighth in right field, number 11, Jack Collins. Batting ninth at catcher, number 14, Eli Smith. And your shortstop for the Eagles today, number four, Cove Argison. Now for your starting lineup for your Trinity Christian Academy Lions. Leading off, batting first, at shortstop, number one, Owen Atwood. And batting second, at second base, number 16, Harris Smith. Batting third, at third base, number seven, Nick Jones. Batting fourth at first base, number six, Harrison Vance. At cleanup, your designated hitter, number five, Max Richardson. Batting next, your pitcher, number 13, Andrew Perry. Batting seventh. At catcher, number eight, John Brooks. Batting eighth, in right field, number 17, Connor Quarles. Batting ninth, in left field, number 23, C.J. Lewis. And in center field, number two, Zane Atwood. Now, would you please join me for today's prayer? And... For the past 22 years, Tennessee Tractor has been committed to you, our customers. That's why our locally owned business delivers great John Deere products with great service at a great price. From the backyard to the back 40, whatever size project your family's got, you can rely on us to help you get it done. From our friendly staff to our reliable equipment and our quality service, Tennessee Tractor has one goal, to keep you and your family up and running. Hometown Value. Hometown service. That's Tennessee Tractor. We are a team. A team composed of highly skilled physical therapists with new school treatment approaches and old school customer service principles. We are a community presence because we know our foundation rests in relationship building and involvement. We are leaders in this industry and we're putting in time daily to develop that aspect of thinking. We're more than a business. We're a team composed of individuals governed by a set of core values. We are more than a physical therapy company. We are a movement in the profession. We are your premier physical therapy team in West Tennessee. Your life. Your home. Your business. Your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, 
focused on you. Believe in family. Believe in your fellow man. Believe in daddy-daughter dances, home-cooked meals, and bedtime stories. Believe in honesty and an honest day's work. Believe that love and faith make the world a better place. We do because we believe in you. We're Farm Bureau Insurance, and we don't just believe in Tennessee. We believe in Tennesseans. Farm Bureau Insurance, Tennessee's insurance company. Call Farm Bureau agent Travis Vance at 731-661-0102 or see him at 285 North Parkway in Jackson. And welcome back to uh, Trinity Christian Academy at 10 Windy City Road in beautiful downtown Windy City, Tennessee. Hi, hello, everyone. My name is Stan Gerard, and welcome to this afternoon's ball game between Jackson Christian and Trinity Christian. With the threat of rain this afternoon, this ball game was moved up from its originally scheduled start time of 6 p.m. and obviously will be getting at about 4 p.m. I didn't get that notice until just over an hour ago. So, folks, if you would please call your neighbors, call your friends, let them know that the ball game has been moved up and we're getting ready for the first pitch right here from Trinity Christian Academy. Taking a look at the starting defensive alignments for Trinity Christian Academy, the outfield, left to right, C.J. Lewis, Zang Atwood, Connor Quarles, the infield, Nick Jones, Owen Atwood, Harris Smith, and Harrison Vance. Shipping and receiving is Andrew Perry and John Brooks. Take a look at John Brooks, his, or excuse me, take a look at Andrew Perry, his pitching on the mound so far this season. Andrew, 2-2 two and two on the season, a 3.429 ERA. 16.1 innings, he's given up 16 hits, 13 runs, only eight earned. He's walked 12 and he's struck out 39 batters. And as you already know, he is signed to play bat and baseball at Belmont University in Nashville next season. The temperature outside is 78 degrees. The humidity is at 56%, the dew point at 61. The wind out of the south-southwest at 9 p.m. Or excuse me, out of the south-southwest at nine miles an hour. So the, the wind is blowing from right to left out into left and left center field this evening and this game's starting early because we have a chance for rain this evening. Chances of thunderstorms oh, about five o'clock will be around 15%, increasing to 40% by 6 p.m. and increasing as the night wears on. And the reason that this, one of the reasons this ball game was switched until from yesterday to today, as far as the second half, will be that the fact it's supposed to be a 100% chance of rain this afternoon. Leading off the top of the first. Leading off for Jackson five, Christian, Reed the Cooper. second baseman, number five, Reed Cooper. And again, I apologize, do not have any stats available for Jackson Christian. Ready for the first pitch. Perry eyes the mark, and here's the first pitch of the ball game. They're going to call that inside, ball one. Second pitch swing, foul got to play. The count evens at one ball and one strike. It's partly cloudy. I'd say about 60% sun, 40% clouds this afternoon. Pitch right down the throat. It's in there for a strike. So Andrew Perry ahead of the count, one ball and two strikes. Rocking and firing. Awfully close. The count moves to two and two. The wind up in the pitch, swing. Popped it up. Center fielder underneath it. He squeezes it and the first out of the ball game. Zang Atwood with the put out. And there is one down. That's gonna bring up JT Mullins, the left fielder for JT Mullins. Jackson Christian. 
Jackson Christian wearing those uniforms that look like the L.A. Dodgers uniform set. And, of course, TCA in those gorgeous black uniforms with purple numbers. Perry's pitch. Low and ball one. Again, the wind coming out of the south. They call that a strike. Count evens at one and one. He puts strike two across the corner of the plate. Perry now ahead of the count, one ball and two strikes. Here's Perry's windup. Look out. Big breaker buckled my knees up here. Evens the count at two and two. Well, did you watch that eclipse? Was it worth it? Ball outside, or was it nothing but hype? Let us know in the message in the uh, message column. You're welcome to leave a message. Tell us who you are, who you're cheering for, where you're cheering for, and did you watch the eclipse today? Swing ball goes left field out of play. Count remains full, three balls, two strikes. One out here in the top of the first. The wind up. And they punch him out. The first strikeout of the game for Andrew Perry. And there are two down. And that will bring up the center That's fielder, number 22, Easton number 22, Easton Jones. Jones, the big righty. Here's the windup by Perry. Wicked curve. Yes, sir. In there for a strike. Got some people watching on the beach this afternoon. Pass ball straight down the pike. Files that got to play. Moves the count to 0-2. Perry starting off this game, working ahead in the count, and that's always a good thing. Jones steps out of the box. And the pitch hits him on the knuckles. So Jackson Christian with the first base runner of the day. Next up. And now bring up the Number DH. 21, Carson Holt. Number 21, Carson Holt. Holt, a lefty, jamming the play, as you can see. Pitch is outside. I personally like to jam the, jam the batters that like to jam the plate. Make them get around early on it. One ball, one strike. But then again, that's why I gave up baseball after the my freshman year, too. So you never know. Here's the windup. Checks the runner, goes over there and back in time. There you see the grill getting going. Folks starting to arrive in. Snap throw back in time. Just want to make sure you guys uniform dirty. Pitch gets away. Runner advances to second. Runner being Jones. That's two balls and one strike. Holt the DH. Low and outside, three balls and a strike. Left hander stands in there. 
Check swing and a strike. Makes the count full with two outs. Top of the first. Glad you could join us for this matinee affair on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network brought to you by Trinity Christian Academy and Worthy Road Studios. Swing and a miss for the Eagles in the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. We go into the top of the first. Eagles zero, TCA coming to bat right here on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. Hello, I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, a family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. You know, home buying can be a long and confusing process, especially in today's market. Well, our Home Sweet Home Loan program offers incredibly competitive rates and allows you to keep your loan local throughout the entire life of the loan. So start your financial conversation with us today by visiting foundationbank.org or calling us on the number on the screen. In the meantime, go Lions! McKenzie Banking Company and Foundation Bank are an equal housing lender and member FDIC. Walker Wealth Solutions LLC offers experienced and diversified services throughout the greater Tennessee area. Walker Wealth Solutions specializes in water well drilling operations. They are experienced in the design, construction, and maintenance of wells from 4 to 16 inches in diameter and depths up to 1,000 feet. Walker Wealth Solutions has three locations in Somerville, Brownsville, and Trenton. For a consultation, give them a call at 731-779-1275. Folks, when you talk about water well companies, there's only one solution here in West Tennessee. It's the folks at Water Well Solutions. Justin Miller and his crew with, with offices in Trenton, Brownsville, and Somerville have what you need. Will it be a 16-inch industrial well or just a little well for your home? The folks at Water Well Solutions have it all. And not, all, not only do they offer sales for your water well, they offer service. Justin, his crews were up in the southern Illinois just last week. In reaction, the storms up there knocked over several water wells in farmers' fields. Justin had multiple crews up there servicing those wells the very next day. So for a great, for a great product and great service, Justin Miller and the folks at Water Well Solutions with offices in Trenton, Somerville, and Brownsville. Lions, number one, Owen Atwood. Defensive alignment for Jackson Christian, JT Mullins, Easton Jones, and Jack Collins in the outfield. Zach Creasy, Cole Vargason, Reed Cooper, and Daniel Green the infield. Austin Kelly and Eli Smith are your pitching combo. Leading off for TCA, it's going to be Owen Atwood. Pitch is on the outside corner for a strike. Atwood coming in this ball game, bag 283. 46 play appearances, 13 hits, 8 singles, 4 doubles, and a triple. Swing and a miss. He's in the hole 0 and 2. He's got 5 RBIs in here. He scored 19 runs. So when Owen gets on base, Owen scores runs. Here's the pitch. Swing. It's going to be a ground ball. Field by shortstop. He's not going to be able to make the throw, though. And that's going to go in there for an infield single. And Owen Atwood Next up for the Lions, number 16, is on Harris. base for the yeah. Lions. That's going to bring up the second baseman, Harris Smith. Harris coming to this ball game, bagging 300, 40 play appearances. He's got 12 hits on the season, and he scored 16 runs. He's walked 10 times as well, so Harris swings the bat well. He's got a good eye with it, too. Here's the pitch from the right-hander, Kelly. Showed bunt, third base, charging in. Snap throw. This ball game between TCA and Jackson Christian won what I call a series of neighborhood street fights with TCA, Jackson Christian, and USJ all within a couple of miles distance of each other. Pitch inside for a strike. So when these teams get together, 
It's just like you're playing in the neighborhood. One ball, one strike. A runner on for the Lions. Showed the bunt. It's in there for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Here's the pitch from Kelly. Opposite field, foul ball out of play. Couple of gentlemen on the beach area this afternoon. What's well, funny thing? Look at that shot there. The size difference between Atwood and Jackson Christian's first baseman, Daniel Green. Huge size difference between the two. High swing, a miss. Throw him out, put him out. And there are two outs. And we're going to have a little discussion with the umpire here. Hayden Hogue maybe thinking there was a little interference on the play. And fortunately, very rarely do you ever win one of those arguments. Now we're going to come and get home plate involved in it, so we may have something going here, folks. Because Atwood hasn't left second base. Hogue still having a discussion. Home plate umpire is walking away from it. And the final word is they've called him out. Not sure what Coach Hogue was uh, seeing there unless it was uh, Lions. Number seven, Nick Jones. something in the nature of an interference, but your guess is as good as mine, folks. Two outs in the inning for TCA. And it's going to be Nick Jones, the third baseman, bagging for the Lions. Pitch just a bit outside, says the man in blue. Swing, foul ball off the screen. Hello, Miss Peggy. And welcome home, young lady. Here's the wind up in the pitch. Swing. And a miss for the strikeout. In the inning for Trinity Christian Academy, there was one hit. No errors. Nobody left on base at the end of one. No score between TCA and Jackson Christian. We go to the second right here on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. Legends never die. But your AC unit might. Routine maintenance and repair by McCoy's Heating and Air now will keep your system running at full capacity and potentially avoid costlier repairs and downtime when you need your AC the most. Our York certified and trained technicians are the best in the game. Go home to comfort with spring maintenance from McCoy's Heating and Air. The bonus cash extravaganza is underway right now at Carlock Nissan in Jackson. In addition to dealer discounts, get another 750 bonus cash on Nissan Sentra, another 750 bonus cash on Nissan Altima, an additional $1,000 bonus cash on Nissan Pathfinder, and 1250 on Nissan Frontier. Plus, rates as low as 0% and 3.9 for 84 months. The bonus cash extravaganza underway right now at Carlock Nissan. Van Drive, Jackson.
And we're back here at Trinity Christian Academy. My name's Stan Gerard. We move into the top of the second. No score between TCA and Jackson Christian. Jackson Christian sent four men to the plate in the first. A hit batsman. He was stranded at first. And TCA struck out two batters. TCA had three men appear. Had a hit, but he was called out, stealing second on a strike him out, throw him out deal. So TCA only sending three to the play in the bottom half of the first inning of play. Important in a game like this that you get off early in this contest, especially with Trinity Christian Academy, who's been struggling a little bit from the plate these last few games. Although you look at Trinity Christian Academy, the last two games we've lost by a couple of runs each, but we played in Milan, defending a state runner-up in Class 2A. And we played Brighton, the defending state quarterfinalists, and the fourth-ranked team of the state in 3A. So TCA playing some strong competition coming in this ball game. The pitch, swing and a miss, strike two. All by Travis Cross, Coach Cross watching the guy. Breaking pitch. And they're going to say that hit him. Second hit batsman by Andrew Perry. And now bring up the first baseman, Daniel Green. Perry with two strikeouts and two hit batsmen in the game. Pitches outside. Ball one. Went low for one. Swing. Fouled it straight back to Daniel Green. Reached for one out of the zone. Evens the count at one and one. Pitch gets away, and the runner, Creasy, advances to second on the pass ball. Green is what I would call a big boy. Large individual. I can see the burgers and dogs going. Showing bunt. It's a good one. Perry's going to feel it. Turns, throws the first for the out. Creasy advances the third. And Green is out on the 1 3 fielder's choice. Sacrifice, actually. And now bring up the pitcher, Austin Kelly. Always oh, a chance, you know, when, when the pitcher comes to play, you like to see him do good because. He's helping his own cause. Let's see if Andrew can strike him out. Pitch in there for a strike. Took a little something off of that delivery. A little bit low, ball one, strike one. Jackson Christian with a runner in scoring position at third and nobody out here in the second. Swing and a miss. Took the big healthy cut. Makes it one ball and two strikes. Inward stance there or closed stance. And they're saying he struck out. The third strikeout. Of the ball game for Andrew Perry. For Andrew, that's struck out number 42 on the season. And the third of this game. 
Pitch outside, ball one. Lefty versus lefty, here's the pitch. Inside, popped it up, out of play. Souvenir for a young fan in the upper deck. Haven't heard what you folks think about the eclipse this afternoon. Was it worth it or was it hype? Let us know. Wicked breaking pitch, a bit outside. Two balls and a strike. And here on the TCA broadcast, we welcome open comments. Just leave us your name, your message, and who you're cheering for and where you're cheering from. We'd love to hear from you. Here's the pitch. A little dinger in the right field, left field. It's going to be a base hit, and it's going to bring in Creasy with the first run of the ball game, digging for second with a stand-up double is Jack Collins. So a two-out run scoring double puts Jackson Christian in the lead by a score of one to nothing. That's what hurt TCA against Milan. They had a uh, – we had two outs in the inning and then they had erupted for three in the inning and the diff- it was the difference in the ball game. Checks the runner, and the batter steps out. The pitch. Yes, sir. On the inside corner for a strike. Eyes the runner. Swing foul ball out of play. There you see the folks on the beach. Young man in a hat enjoying a hot dog over there on your left behind the tee on the plate. Change up high. One ball and two strikes. Eli Smith. The batter on deck. Oh, excuse me, Eli Smith, the batter at the plate. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Our first room, 222 count. Swing and a miss. So for Trinity Christian Academy, Jackson Christian scores one run. On no hits, there are no errors, and one left on base. At the end of one and a half, it's Jackson Christian one and TCA zero. You're watching TCA Baseball on the Ball Game Blitz Broadcast Network. Why go on vacation when you can live on vacation? Aloha Custom Pools will help you create your very own piece of paradise, and you can enjoy it every day. What are you waiting for? Take the plunge. Call Aloha Custom Pools or visit us online. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. And we welcome you back to Trinity Christian Kelly. My name is Stan Gerard. We're going to the bottom of the second. And Jackson Christian with the 1-0 lead after they pushed after Andrew Perry hit the first Barry face in the second. He made his way around and with the sacrifice got the third. 
and ended up scoring on the Jack Collins RBI double. There was a Jackson Christian player down the right field side in the infield that looked like he fell or something. The TCA trainer went over there, and now it was cleared off. Trainer came back. Kevin's coming back, so everything okay. Didn't see what happened. But coming up to bat for TCA in this inning, it's going to be 4, 5, and 6. Harrison Vance, Max Richardson, and Andrew Perry, the pitcher. Thank you. Max Richardson, not only is he having a nice season throwing the baseball, he's having a nice season at the plate. Bagging 400, 45 play appearances, 18 hits, 11 singles. Five doubles, a couple of triples, 19 RBIs, seven runs, and he's walked seven times while only striking out five times. So Mad Max. Uh, Max is actually up fourth in the This is Harrison Vance. My apologies, folks. I look at the wrong numbers. And there's a little bit of a cross sun that's got my eyes kind of blurring up, and you look through the uh, – Negging on the fence, and they can't crisscross you sometimes. But it's Harrison Vance swing and a miss. Harrison with a couple of big triples on the season, 14 RBIs. Hit a couple a couple of days ago. A, a normal day would have been out of the park, but the wind held him up pitch outside. For a ball. And that was an interesting town pitch. They're going to say is inside. Pitch high inside. Three balls and a strike. Swing! Oh, nice stab by the third baseman. He's going to get him a throw for the out. Have to say it, nice play by the third baseman, Zach Creasy, as he took a surefire base hit away from Harrison Vance. That's Now it's going to bring up Max Richardson. Opposite field, curving, curving, foul, ball out of play. Her little hiccup, I don't want anybody disturbed, but lightning has been detected in the area. Not close enough to call the game, but my weather app is saying lightning in within 10, 15 minutes of Jackson, Tennessee. Here's the windup. Took the pitch for a strike. No balls and two strikes. Here's the 0-2 count. Reach for it. And the line out to the second baseman. And there are two away. Tried to go opposite field right to the second baseman. Tried to punch it over his head. Let's go bring up Andrew Perry batting for TCA. TCA only sent three to the plate in the first. And they're going to call that a strike on the outside corner. One ball, one strikes the count. Power telling somebody on the Jackson Christian dugout to calm it down. Pitch is low outside. He was looking right at the JC dugout, patting his hand down like hush up a little bit. Here's the 2 1 count. 
Swing and a foul ball leaves the count at two and two. Getting a little bit more cloudy as we speak. The 2 2 pitch is outside. The count is full. I'm going to switch my, one of my computers to the weather service and see what we can get going right here. Pitch is outside for ball four. So, Andrew Perry gets on base. TCA's second base runner of the afternoon. And I'll bring up the catcher, John Brooks. There is a strong cell just to our southwest of us. Right now, it's sitting below Highway 64. And there's another cell roughly around just west of 45 off about the about the uh, looks like around where Highway 100 might be. So there is some rain in the not too near of an area, but it's something to be concerned of for a, a little bit later on during the day. And John Brooks calls a timeout to have a word with his coach. So it would behoove these teams to get some action going early in this contest because with the threat of weather, swing, field by the third baseman, bobble in the left field, and runners on first and second. And so TCA... Harrison Harpo is on as a courtesy runner for John Brooks. Harpo with three runs scored most of those in courtesy roll work. So TCA with a couple of runners on and nobody out. Curveball, he says in there for a strike. Golden opportunity right here for the Lions. A couple on, nobody out. A runner in scoring position. Infield or outfield shades ever so slightly to the left. Swing the foul ball out of play. Looked like he was maybe thinking about going opposite field with that. Connor Quarles, the batter for the Lions, the right fielder. Pitch a little high. One ball and two strikes. Quarles with the slightly open stance. Swing and a miss. And Quarles strikes out. In the inning for TCA, one no runs on one hit, no errors, and two men left on base. At the end of two complete innings of play, it's Jackson Christian 1 and TCA 0 right around the TCA Broadcast Network. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. 
Shop Jones Chevrolet Humboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. It's the off season, but it's the best season to buy at Aloha Custom Pools. Snag your dream pool now, and we promise you'll be splashing around by Memorial Day. What are you waiting for? Give us a call or visit us at alohacustompools.com. And welcome back to Trinity Christian Academy. My name is Stan Gerard. We go on the top of the third. Jackson Christian with the one nothing league on TCA. We do have some weather moving into the area. I've got my weather radar on. They just sent. I don't know if it's a warning or just an advisory. We've got a couple of fairly healthy cells that are moving somewhat in the direction of Jackson, Tennessee, out of our south. And they've been boxed on the radar. We have a pretty good little thunderstorm, some red and yellow. It looks like it's going to skirt the southeast portion of Jackson, Tennessee. So we could be getting wet here in just a little bit. For Jackson Christian, he'll be the leadoff man, Reed Cooper. He popped up to center field. His first is bat. He takes the first pitch for a strike. And there is lightning in the area, as I've been told. Swing and a miss. So we could end up in delayed mode here for a little bit. And those of you who know me know I'm in no position to do any tap dancing for your entertainment. There's a pitch popped up. Center field going back. He's under it and makes the catch. Does Zing Atwood. And there is one out in the inning. It's coming up JT Mullins batting. He struck out back in the first. That last strikeout by Perry. Swing, foul ball out of play. Was his fourth of the game, his 43rd on the season. Lefty versus lefty, no balls and a strike. Big sweeping breaker just a bit outside. Pitch. In there for a strike. One ball and two strikes. Perry ready to pitch. And Mullins taking his time. Here's the pitch. Outside gets away. Nobody on base. So Jackson Christian with the one nothing lead here. Pitch outside. The count is full. And we do have weather in the area. As we said, there's a pitch, and it's a walk. So Mullins, who struck out in the first, walks. In the second, Jackson Christian now with base runners in every inning so far. I'll bring up Easton Jones. Jones was hit by a pitch and stranded at second. Back in the first inning of play. Perry checks the runner. Pitch inside. Nice stop by Brooksy. One ball, no strikes. Pitch is in there for a strike. Well, I thought he made the strike motion. Apparently he did not. Two balls and a strike. Pitch inside. Three and oh. Two 
Took a little something off that one, got it over for a strike. Makes the ball count three and one. And the second walk of the inning. For Jackson Christian, Carson Holt, the DH, at the play. He struck out to end our first inning. And Coach Holt goes out to talk on the mound with his pitcher. We're going to take a quick 30-second break right here on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. We realize you have a busy lifestyle. And at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. And welcome back to Training Christian Academy. My name is Stan Gerard. The meeting on the mound, the meeting of the minds, is over. And we're going to be back to play. Coach Hogue just going out there get, to settle his pitcher down just a bit. Pitching for TCA, Andrew Perry. Pitching for Jackson Christian will be Mr. Kelly. Here's a hit in the left, right field, deep, deep, deep. And that one is gone. A three-run blast by Carson Holt. And Jackson Christian takes a 4 nothing lead to the delight of the visiting Jackson Christian crowd here at Training Christian Academy this afternoon. Zach Creasy will be the batter for the Eagles. To my knowledge, that's the Aubrey, correct me if I'm wrong, was that not the first home run hit here at Jackson Christian this year, or at TCA this year by other team? We've seen a lot of them hit in the right field in the past couple of years. One ball, one strike. And John Brooks going to go out and talk to Andrew Perry. We do have weather in the area. The weather is south of us, and the wind is coming out of the south. It's scattered at this point. Little spot thunderstorms is what it looks like. So, And we have been signaling that there is lightning in the not immediate area, but close enough they're going to send out a little toot for you. Here's the pitch. It's a little bit low. Two balls and a strike. The pitch, swing and a miss. Evens the count at two and two. Pitch inside. And the count is full. A few more clouds coming in and some darker, gray, grayer clouds starting to come in as well. Now batting number 16, Daniel Green. Creasy strikes out for the second out of the inning. Fifth strikeout for Andy Perry in this game. 44 on the season. Pitch, swing, hit. Field by Atwood. Shortstop the long throw is in time. 6-3 on the put out. But for Jackson Christian in the inning, three runs on one base hit. There were no errors and nobody left on base. 
At the end of two and a half, Jackson Christian leads TCA 4 nothing right here on the TCA Broadcast Network, presented by the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. Hello, folks. This is Gary Dean, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. We're back here at Trinity Christian Academy. My name is Stan Gerard. We move into the bottom of the third. Jackson Christian out to the 4-0 lead here. Jackson Christian put one across in the second and three in the third. Those three coming compliments of a Carson Holt. Three-run home run. Well, with weather in the area, it behooves TCA to get on the good foot. Let's swing that bat and make some contact. If storms approach, you want to be ahead early in the game. More clouds moving as we speak. The weather... Wind coming out of the south at about 10. Bag for TCA. Is going to be the left fielder, C.J. Lewis. Then it'll be the top of the order. Swing and a miss, strike one. C.J., I believe it was against, was against Myler Brighton. Put one up against the wall into the wind. Hard cut. Just underneath it, foul it straight back. CJ wearing the number 23. Made famous by a friend of mine, a former competitor that I played ball against, one Don Mangley of the New York Yankees, Donnie Baseball. Here's Kelly's pitch. Swing, long hit, left field, curving though, curving, foul, and out of play. Gave it one rocket ride, needed to straighten it out though. C.J. does possess a little stroke in that swing of his. Pitch is outside. Two balls and two strikes. Yeah, it's getting darker as we speak. Popped it up. That was straight back out of play. Hit the roof, and hopefully not my car. Here's the windup. Nasty pitch in there for strike three. CJ goes down looking. That's the fourth strike out of the ball game for Austin Kelly. The Jackson Christian pitcher. TCA's Andrew Perry with five. Swing on a foul ball by Owen Atwood, the leadoff man. 
Owen got on on an infield single to start this ball game for TCA. He was called out at second. And I'm just being informed there is a thunderstorm warning in the area. I'll check here in just a minute and see where it's at. Here's the base hit. Up the middle, field by the second baseman. Oh, he's going to turn and make the throw. Just in time. Against the Spiggy on Atwood, out 4-3. For the second out of the inning. Diamond Dave and our old friend Miss Peggy Milam checking in. The swing and the miss. By TCA. Harris Smith, the batter. Chop single. Got a chance if he hustles. And they call him out. TCA not overly happy with it. But that's going to be a 1-2-3 inning for TCA. At the end of three complete, it's 4 nothing Jackson Christian right here on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. Hi, I'm Stan Gerard for your local Food Right. Food Right is the home of the butcher. Food Right is proud to sell certified Angus beef. It's the very best there is. All of our beef, signature pork, and chicken products are cut and packed fresh daily by our in-store butchers. To feed your family well, Food Right, with 11 locations across West Tennessee, is where you need to go. Have a great day, everyone, and much more importantly, God bless. Hello, I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. Your checking account should offer more than a place to just store your money. Our foundation benefits with high interest accounts include the flexibility of a checking account with tiered interest rates, identity theft protection, cell phone protection, and more. So start a financial conversation with us today by visiting foundationbank.org or calling us on the number at the screen. In the meantime, go Lions! Kinsey Banking Company is an equal housing lender. Member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. And welcome back to Training Christian Academy. My name is Stan Gerard. We move into the top of the fourth with Jackson Christian. A 4 nothing lead over TCA. Give you a weather update here. We have a thunderstorm warning in South Madison County. A small line of storms skirting the southern end of the county. Just um, in between... Pinson and downtown Jackson moving out of the southwest to the northeast. It will have that particular storm will have no effect on this ball game, but there is another cell coming up behind it, and we're starting to develop a line of cells uh, down in Tennessee and the Mississippi. They're kind of chugging this way and lightning flashing all over the place. The next one could be in our area, but the Weather warning does not include this area at this particular time. So we'll keep it we'll keep an eye on that situation as it develops. Lee off the aim for Jackson Christian. The pitcher, Austin Kelly, swing and a miss, strike one. Pitch on the inside corner, even as the count, one ball and one strike. Appreciate all those of you watching this afternoon. As this game started a little bit earlier than we expected, we expected to be playing, we expected to be in about the middle of the JV game right now. Pitch is in there for a strike. One ball, two strikes. But they moved the game up to 4 o'clock to try and beat weather, and that's what we're going to try and do, beat the weather that is in the area. Heavy weather expected tomorrow as well. Actually, a good chunk of the week we're going to have heavy weather. Hopefully not on Thursday 
as Jackson Christian will pay a call on TCA in middle school baseball. And you will see that game on West Tennessee Sports Facebook page. I'll have the broadcast of that. TCA with only one loss on the year. Here's a hit pitch over to first base and the out. Nice field by Nick Jones and 5-3 on the pull out to Austin Kelly. But that TCA middle school bunch is something to behold. 17-1 coming into this ball game. They're playing today at Jackson Christian. And Jackson Christian scheduled to be here on Thursday, hopefully weather permitting. And I will look forward to bringing that game to you on West Tennessee Sports. There's a pitch. Goes into right left field for a base hit. A first swing single for Jack Collins. Opposite field. Nice piece of hitting for the Jackson Christian right fielder. Now bring up the catcher, Eli Smith. Smith struck out back in the second. He was the last out in the second. Perry. Little high ball one. Here's the pitch. Goes to bunt. Can't dig out the ball. And in there for a strike, or in there for a stolen base. Ball was a little bit low, and Brooksy had to dig for it. Pitch in there for a strike. Again, I see that our old friend Peggy Milam is checking in. Peggy, we sure miss that old fart husband of yours, Roger. God bless him. And we all miss him, my, my lady friend. But hope you're doing well, Miss Peggy. Here's the wind up by Perry, the pitch. That's two balls and a strike. Brooks, he's going to have another chat with his pitcher. Three balls and one strike. A 4 nothing lead. The sky darkening as we speak. Wind is picking up, as you can tell from that bouncing like a basketball center field camera. Pitch in there for a strike. But the wind starting to pick up. Pretty good. The flag fluttering. And there's a strikeout. Strikeout number six in the game for, for Andrew Perry. How did I bring up the top of the order? Reed Cooper. He's flown out to center field twice. Breaking pitch. Is in there for a strike. Yeah, I hope you got an extra clamp on that camera out there. They're going to call her on the outside. You may need some gorilla tape for that. If you see the camera blow away, immediately switch to it before we lose it. I want to get that picture. That will be the shot of all time. One ball, two strikes. Wicked. No. Strike them out, throw them out. And one, two, three, eight for Trinity Christian Academy. That is strikeout number seven. 
for the night, 46 on the year. No runs, one hit, no errors, and one man left on base. Going into the bottom of the fourth, it is 4 nothing. Jackson Christian right here on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. For the past 22 years, Tennessee Tractor has been committed to you, our customers. That's why our locally owned business delivers great John Deere products with great service at a great price. From the backyard to the back 40, whatever size project your family's got, you can rely on us to help you get it done. From our friendly staff to our reliable equipment and our quality service, Tennessee Tractor has one goal, to keep you and your family up and running. Hometown value, hometown service. That's Tennessee Tractor. You know, folks, whether you have a 200-acre farm or just a little half-acre yard here in West Tennessee, the fine folks at West Tennessee Tractor are the place, or Tennessee Tractor, I should say, are the place that you need to go to. Tennessee Tractor is an authorized John Deere dealership with locations in all of West Tennessee. Tennessee Tractor, they've got, they've got equipment for 200-acre farms, and they've got equipment for your yard as well. Anything that you need in the way of lawn care, they have it right there at Tennessee Tractor. Tennessee Tractor, home of the big green John Deere equipment. Here's the first pitch to Nick Jones on the outside corner for a strike. Well, folks, with weather in the area, I think TCA is going to have to get on the good foot pretty quickly. They're going to say low, ball one. One ball, one strike. Hello, Miss Doodle. Pitch gets away. Two balls and a strike. Miss Doodle, my favorite resident of McKenzie, Tennessee. Three balls and a strike. Took it, and it's a walk. So TCA, Nick Jones gets on for the first time. TCA went down one, two, three in the third game, but they had – have had base runners in the first and second. Harrison Vance grounded 5-3, his first at bat. Jones, the speedy one. Kelly eyes the mark. Pitch is outside. And time has been called. Jackson Christian coach coming to the mound. A little unexpected meeting of the minds here. We're going to use this time to quickly check the radar again and see what's happening weather-wise in our area. The first line is on the southeast end of town and it's quickly moving towards East Jackson and out of the way. There is a second line that looks like it's also going to follow in the same path. But there are other developing lines behind it. And all of these small pop-up storms do, com do contain that dreaded L word, lightning. 
We've got an eye on eye on weather out there. Our official weather eye. Vance at bat. Two balls and a strike. There's a drive left field. Curving foul. Mm. That would have been what the doctor ordered. Vance versus Kelly. Snap throw. The runner is back in time, Nick Jones. Not much chance you're going to catch Slick Nick. Low and inside for a strike. Mm. Two balls, two strikes. There's a hit or popped it up, actually. Taken by the third baseman for the out. Took a healthy swing, but popped it up. That's going to bring up TCA's lead hitter, Max Richardson. Coming in the game, Max was batting 400 on the season. Clouds continuing to roll in here. The pitch. Took a little something off that curve. A little bit outside on that breaking pitch. For a ball. And there for a strike. They're going to call that on the inside corner for a strikeout. Or check that. That was strike two. One ball, two strikes, one out. Right back to the pitcher to second for one. And the double play. The second double play of the night. Or Jackson Christian, TCA in the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on base. We played four complete, and it's 4 nothing. Jackson Christian right here on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. We are a team, a team composed of highly skilled physical therapists, with new school treatment approaches and old school customer service principles. We are a community presence because we know our foundation rests in relationship building and involvement. We are leaders in this industry and we're putting in time daily to develop that aspect of thinking. We're more than a business. We're a team composed of individuals governed by a set of core values. We're more than a physical therapy company. We're a movement in the profession. We are your premier physical therapy team in West Tennessee. Your life, your home, your business, your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. One of the great basketball players of all time to play in West Tennessee is West Tennessee Bank's president, Kurt Gehring. You want some banking done, you want it done right, go out to Kurt Gehring's place. Him or one of his, him or one of his associates would be glad to help you out. Kurt Gehring, 
and the fine folks at West Tennessee Bank, a sponsor of TCA Athletics. As we get set for the top of the fifth. And we're having a meeting of the minds here again. And we'll be back to play shortly. There you see the crowd on the beach. Leading off the inning for Jackson Christian will be the left fielder, J.T. Mullins. Mullins struck out in the first, walked and scored the first of those three runs of Jackson Christian back in the third. He was the first run out of that Carson Holt home run. Pitch inside for a ball. Fielded by Jones, a strong throw over the first. That's in time for the 5 3 put out. For those of you scoring this game at home, like Freddie Garrett. Easton Jones, the batter. He was hit by a pitch, stranding on second, back in the second. And he scored. He walked in the third and then scored on the Carson Holt three run home run in the third. Open stance. Dribble hit. Throws to not able to get the throw off. Little dribble hit. Never got out of the infield grass. And Easton Jones is on with a base hit. So Carson Holt, the batter. A home run the last time at the plate. This time with one on. Runner takes the lead. Big curveball in there for a strike. Now the Suns reappearing for a, making a guest appearance. Holt, the left-hander, jacked that ball in the right field. There goes a runner. Pitch is not going to be in time. And the stolen base by Easton Jones. Holt digging at the plate from the left-hand side. Lefty versus lefty. Ball got away from the catcher. Runner advances to third. Pitch is outside. Two balls and a strike. Breaking pitch, a little outside. And the strikeout. For Carson Holt, his second strikeout of the night. For Perry. That's the eighth strikeout 
of the afternoon, his 47th on the season. It brings up Zach Creasy. Pitch is inside for ball two. Jones, the runner at third for Jackson Christian. Eagles leading TCA for nothing. Slow curve, catches the corner. Did he just not signal strike? Okay. Stuck his arm out. I th I'm so used to him when they, when they right, move that right arm, it's a strike. But we're going to have a me on the mound here. Will we see a pitching change? We'll find out in just a second. Sure thought that was in there for a K myself. Let's go to. And what we'll do right now, we'll go take a quick commercial break, a 30-second break, and we're back after this on the Ball Game Blitz. Believe in family. Believe in your fellow man. Believe in daddy-daughter dances, home-cooked meals, and bedtime stories. Believe in honesty and an honest day's work. Believe that love and faith make the world a better place. We do, because we believe in you. We're Farm Bureau Insurance, and we don't just believe in Tennessee. We believe in Tennesseans. Farm Bureau Insurance, Tennessee's insurance company. Call Farm Bureau agent Travis Vance at 731-661-0102 or see him at 285 North Parkway in Jackson. Back at Training Christian Academy, just a little conference on the mound, and it will be Daniel Green batting for Jackson Christian. Runners on the corner. Pitch, they say, is low. Green hitting the field his choice back in the second and grounded 6-3 in the third. Swing. Vance gives chase, and it's out of play. No, he caught it. They say he caught it. That was shielded from our cameras by the dugout, so it was a catch. So give that PO3. And in the inning for Jackson Christian, you have one hit, no runs, and two left on base. We move into the bottom of the fifth. That's 4 nothing. Jackson Christian right here on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. Hello, I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, a family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. You know, home buying can be a long and confusing process, especially in today's market. While our Home Sweet Home Loan program offers incredibly competitive rates and allows you to keep your loan local throughout the entire life of the loan. So start your financial conversation with us today by visiting foundationbank.org or calling us on the number on the screen. In the meantime, go Lions! McKenzie Banking Company and Foundation Bank are an equal housing lender and member FDIC. Walker Wealth Solutions LLC offers experienced and diversified services throughout the greater Tennessee area. Walker Wealth Solutions specializes in water well drilling operations. They are experienced in the design, construction, and maintenance of wells from 4 to 16 inches in diameter and depths up to 1,000 feet. Walker Wealth Solutions has three locations in Somerville, Brownsville, and Trenton. For a consultation, give them a call at 731-779-1275. Back here at Trinity Christian Academy, Jackson Christian leading this ball game by a score of four to nothing. Dark clouds have moved over. There is thunderstorms in the area, but most of them have been moving to the south and west, south and east of us. So we're hopeful to get through this ball game. Scattered thunderstorms are in the area. 
We've had lightning about. But it's all stayed to our south and east. Just some nice dark clouds here. Leading off the inning for TCA. It's going to be Andrew Perry. Perry walked back in the second. Swing, foul tip, out of play. USJ was winning their game over... It was 13 to 4, USJ leading Fayette Academy midpoint of that ball game, a couple miles up the road. Here's the pitch. The wind up. One ball, two strikes. Kelly's pitch. A bit outside. There's a swing, a foul ball out of play. They've gone final 13-1 USJ with the win over Fayette Academy. 14-4, I'm sorry. A quickly played ball game. Swing, foul tip, pinning out. And now bring up the catcher, John Brooks. John Brooks had a single. His only at bat back in the second. Here we are in the fifth. Time starting to run out. Swing and a miss. They're on the outside corner. No balls and two strikes. Outside, ball one. Swing and a miss. And John Brooks strikes out. TCA with two down in the inning. Austin Kelly pitching a nice game for Jackson Christian. Here's the first pitch, strike one. Kelly, who has pitched masterfully this afternoon for the Eagles. Low and outside, one ball and one strike. They're watching in the Gulf Shores. So we've got folks all over watching this ball game, all over the country, in the eastern United States, this side of the Mississippi. They're going to call that two balls, two strikes, and two outs. There's a hit in the left field. Get down, get down. And it does, a base hit. For Connor Quarles. One of the few base hits for TCA this afternoon. Quarles is on first, and that brings up C.J. Lewis. C.J. struck out back in the third. By my count, only the third base hit for TCA batting this afternoon. No balls, one strike, four nothing. 
Jackson Christian. Hit, center field, coming on, in for a base hit. TCA stretches out two in a row. With two outs in the inning, TCA trying to put something together. Owen Atwood, singled in the first, was caught stealing at second, grounded 4-3 in the third. Kelly, the windup, a hit, coming on, coming on. It's in there for the third base hit in a row for TCA pitching or for bagging. Well, the bases with two outs are loaded with Lions. And two outs. We're in the fifth, so time is running short. The beach continuing to fill up. And there, as you can see. In there for a strike. Here's the windup. Reached for it, fouled it off. No balls and two strikes for Harris Smith. Well, we've got the bases low. Got to make it happen. You're not going to get many opportunities like this. Swing on a ball, four count, and the inning is over for the Lions. No runs, three hits, no errors. Nobody left at the end of five complete. It's 4 nothing. Jackson Christian right here on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. Legends never die, but your AC unit might. Routine maintenance and repair by McCoy's Heating and Air now will keep your system running at full capacity and potentially avoid costlier repairs and downtime when you need your AC the most. Our York certified and trained technicians are the best in the game. Go home to comfort with spring maintenance from McCoy's Heating and Air. The bonus cash extravaganza is underway right now at Carlock Nissan in Jackson. In addition to dealer discounts, get another 750 bonus cash on Nissan Sentra, another 750 bonus cash on Nissan Altima, an additional $1,000 bonus cash on Nissan Pathfinder, and $1,250 on Nissan Frontier. Plus, rates as low as 0% and 3.9 for 84 months. The bonus cash extravaganza underway right now at Carlock Nissan. Van Drive, Jackson. And welcome back to Trinity Christian Academy. My name's Stan Drum. We move into the top of the six. Jackson Christian with the 4 nothing lead. We're going to close the book on Andrew Perry. Five innings, four hits, four runs, four earned runs. He struck out eight and walked three. So for Andrew this afternoon, a little bit of feast or famine. And he checks out after five innings of play. We'll back things up a little bit here. My computer not wanting to work real well this afternoon. Connor Quarles on the mound for TCA. Connor. 9.2 innings pitched in the season. And he struck out 11. Pitch low and outside. Ball one. Ball one. 
There's a hit, left field, curving, curving, and foul. One ball and one strike. Here in the top of the sixth. Outside, two and one. So quarrels on relief of Perry this afternoon. TCA had the bases loaded with two outs. Last thing, could not push anything across. Change up, hit. Actually a line out. Nick Jones playing the part of Brooks Robinson at third base. Now you know why they call it the hot corner. So the pitcher, Austin Kelly, turns on one, but lines out two. Slick Nick Jones for the first out of the inning. Jack Collins, the batter for Jackson Christian. Two base hits on the night, doubled in the second, and singled in the fourth. Swing and a miss. For Jack Collins. Pitch, swing, and a miss. Collins, the left hander, digging in. Change up, fielded by the first baseman, and not in time. Nice snag, could not get over there in time, and Collins on with an infield hit for Jackson Christian. Now it looks like we're going to see a lineup change of some sort out of the Eagles. Let's we'll see who's coming to bat here. We have a pinch hitter. Brody Bennett. In the pinch hit for Jackson Christian. Pitch gets away. Ball one. Pitch goes outside, 2-0. Oh. Winds has calmed down a little bit here at TCA. Outside, 3-0. and oh. Connor Quarles on relief of Andrew Perry. And the walk. So Bennett gets on base with a walk. No, Collins is at second, Bennett at first. If I bring up the top of the order, that'll be Reed Cooper. Cooper's flown out to center field twice, and he struck out. So Cooper looking for his first hit. As a game of pitch and catch is going on in the beach. As you can see on your screen. Excuse me, folks. Didn't mean to hit my microphone.
Quarles eyes the batter. Runners on first and second. Checks. They show bunt. Throw it first. Pulls the first baseman off the mitt, off the bag, and they're safe all the way around. So the bases are full for Jackson Christian here in the sixth. And nobody out. Here's the windup. Inside ball gets away. Runners do not advance. One ball, no strike, one out. Hit, field by Vance to second for one. And it gets away into right field. One runner's in. And when it rains, it pours. Two in for Jackson Christian. Collins and Bennett score. Cooper advancing to third. On the play. And it's 6 nothing TCA. Or excuse me, Jackson Christian. Here's the pitch. Swing, pop up. The squeeze. And trying to sneak across and being called out is Jackson Christian. Boy, a strange little event there to end the inning. But we go into the bottom of the six. And it's Jackson Christian six and TCA zero right here on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. Why go on vacation when you can live on vacation? Aloha Custom Pools will help you create your very own piece of paradise and you can enjoy it every day. What are you waiting for? Take the plunge. Call Aloha Custom Pools or visit us online. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, Eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. It's the off season, but it's the best season to buy at Aloha Custom Pools. Snag your dream pool now, and we promise you'll be splashing around by Memorial Day. What are you waiting for? Give us a call or visit us at alohacustompools.com. We realize you have a busy lifestyle, and at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, 
online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warrant on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. And we're back here at Trinity Christian Academy. We are under a weather delay here at 10 Windy City Road in downtown Windy City, Tennessee. They've covered the pitching mound. They're covering home plate. And as you can see in the top right corner of your picture, we're getting the big boy tarp out here. If we can get the camera to zoom, take a look at all of what it takes to get a, get a tarp on the field in a quick manner here at Trinity Christian Academy. It's all hands on deck. When this comes, players coming out. You probably got a few pops out there. And you can see the smoke coming across the field from the from the uh, from the grill, which has been going. Hamburgers, hot dogs, barbecue, it's been good. But we were getting ready to start the bottom of the six when the umpires called the game. There's been rain in the area. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to take a look at the weather radar. As you as you watch that tarp coming off the field. Heck, you've even got the umpires out there helping out with the field. We're going to take a look at weather radar as we speak and see what's happening here in West Tennessee and where we stand at this point. Lightning all over. West Tennessee. Lightning has been detected five miles from Jackson, Tennessee. And looking at the radar. And we'll get that into motion here just as soon as it comes into play here. Yeah, TC, it looks like we're getting ready to get a little bit of a there's a blow getting ready. It's not here yet, but it's getting ready to come Come on. It's going to be a, a bit of a nasty one. Not a huge cell, but it's going to be a cell that could cause damage to the field and leave it unplayable if we don't get it covered. This field, for those of you who don't know, this is a great draining field here at Trinity Christian Academy. Over the, just in the past year, last year, they raised the level of the infield so the infield drains better, and the outfield here has always drained fairly well. If you remember, last year during the playoffs, we were scheduled to play University School of Nashville. Was that it, Aubrey? And we, we had literally a big rainstorm the night before. All the boys were out at 6 o'clock the next morning. There were about 12 of these giant fans on the field, and we played baseball that night here in Jackson, Tennessee. But they've got the infield covered. This is a brand-new tarp, by the way, for Trinity Christian Academy. I remember the last tarp out here was on the field before a game, and I was the only one in the press box at the time, and the wind came across, and it took the tarp off the field, over the fence, and up against the – outfield fence of the um, girls' softball field, and that is why we now have a new tarp after insurance, after they dealt with insurance and got a new tarp. But we've had some crazy, crazy wins here at Trinity Christian Academy. Let's tell you how things got this way to where we are. Jackson Christian sent four men to the plate in the first, came with nothing. In the second inning... 
It was Zach Creasy getting on by hit by a pitch. He advanced to second, and the rain starting to come down fairly hard. I don't know if – yeah, you can see – look at your – Look at your outfield, look at your scoreboard camera, and you can just see the rain coming in. Go ahead and close that window a little bit. Protect your camera a little bit. But it is coming to flood here in Jackson Christian. There you go. Try and close it all the way if you can there, friend. But the skies have opened up. The good news is we don't think this is going to last too terribly long. And we got the field covered just in the nick of time here at Training Christian Academy. We just finished the top of the sixth inning of the play, and TCA was getting ready to come at bat when this storm came in. They stopped play before the storm hit. And we were able to get the tarp on the field before the rain hit, which is key in this situation. But right now, it is coming a flood here at Jackson Christian, or at Trinity Christian Academy as we approach the 7 o'clock hour here in West Tennessee. Taking a look at the radar. We're going to switch radar services here. And we're under some sort of, no, we're not under a warning or a watch right now. We might be under a watch, but there are no warnings in West Tennessee. The good news is, folks, I think this one's going to clear relatively quickly. Of course, the crowd has ejected from the facility here. Cars leaving the parking lot. Cameramen all wet, so they've done a great job today. You know, our new, our new camera. I don't know. He's married to you. You look like Snoop Dogg. You've been told that before, haven't you? But Guns N' Roses. You look like you look like Snoop Doggy Dog. And what we're going to do, our my directors say, let's go take a small, quick commercial. We'll take a commercial for about two minutes. We'll come back and give you an update right here on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. Hi, I'm Stan Gerard for your local Food Right. Food Right is the home of the butcher. Food Right is proud to sell certified Angus beef. It's the very best there is. All of our beef, signature pork, and chicken products are cut and packed fresh daily by our in store butchers. To feed your family well, Food Right, with 11 locations across West Tennessee, is where you need to go. Have a great day, everyone, and much more importantly, God bless. Hello, I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. Your checking account should offer more than a place to just store your money. Our foundation benefits with high interest accounts include the flexibility of a checking account with tiered interest rates, identity theft protection, cell phone protection, and more. So start a financial conversation with us today by visiting foundationbank.org or calling us on the number at the screen. In the meantime, go Lions! McKenzie Banking Company is an equal housing lender, member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. For the past 22 years, Tennessee Tractor has been committed to you, our customers. That's why our locally owned business delivers great John Deere products with great service at a great price. From the backyard to the back 40, whatever size project your family's got, you can rely on us to help you get it done. From our friendly staff to our reliable equipment and our quality service, Tennessee Tractor has one goal, to keep you and your family up and running. Hometown value, hometown service. That's Tennessee Tractor. And welcome back to Trinity Christian Academy. My name is Stan Gerard. We're in the middle of a weather delay here in at TCA, between TCA and Jackson Christian. The Eagles jumping out to a 6-0 lead over the Lions in the first of What's well, going to end up being a scheduled two games today. This game originally scheduled for 6 o'clock. Sometime this afternoon they made the decision to play tomorrow's game here. 
I found out about 2.30 of the decision, rushed on out here. And then what you can see now, I'd love to see you, if we could zoom in a little bit, that we're having a rain Olympics here at the old ballpark here in West Tennessee. We're doing a little slipping and sliding. We're making snow. We're making angels here. Pan to the right here a little bit. Oh, we missed it. We just missed it. There we go. But you take this opportunity. And with a team like TCA, who's been in a little bit of a hitting slump lately, you know, this is the kind of this is the kind of thing I think coach would agree with me. This is the kind of thing you get out and you're sliding around. This is the type of thing that could break a team out of a slump and help get them going. You release release some of the things. You forget some of the things that are going on in the world, and you're out right now just having a little bit of fun. It is continuing to rain, especially as you can see through the scoreboard camera where Jackson Christian leads 6 to nothing, and it's being bounced around, and I hope it's still up. But the rain has started to slighten off, and now it is – Coming a flood here in West Tennessee once again as the rain has hit. Again, the field drains well. But the question is, how long is this rain going to keep going? This is not going. Now, Aubrey, if you would help me with the rules here a little bit. This would not be an official game until we get through this half of the inning. Uh, yeah, it's official, I think. They could consider it official, but TCA, you know, we, we're in the middle of the inning, so that's always to me a little bit sketchy on it, but we'll see what happens there as far as that goes. Weather forecast not looking good for tomorrow as well either, so – we could be here a while, depending on what's going to happen. The radar, again, this is a small, relatively small cell as they go. It'll be a question of when it stops raining. It'll be a question of when it stops raining and how long we can get it in. There's, a, there's another cell behind this. If, if they choose to wait this out, We've got a gap coming here in a while. The strongest of the storms are through. And we'll be leaving here shortly. Then we should be in good shape for a while. There's another cell behind it, but it's a relatively weak cell. So we, I've got a, suspect, a suspicion that we're going to be here for a while here at Trinity Christian Academy in the hopes of getting this one in as they do have the field covered so it would be playable. What we're going to do right now, we're going to take another two-minute break, and when we come back, we'll have another update for you. It's Jackson Christian leading TCA in the middle of the sixth right here on the Ballgame Blitz Sports Network. We are a team, a team composed of highly skilled physical therapists with new school treatment approaches and old school customer service principles. We are a community presence because we know our foundation rests in relationship building and involvement. We are leaders in this industry and we're putting in time daily to develop that aspect of thinking. We're more than a business. We're a team composed of individuals governed by a set of core values. We're more than a physical therapy company. We're a movement in the profession. We are your premier physical therapy team in West Tennessee. Your life. Your home. Your business. Your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. Believe in family. Believe in your fellow man. Believe in daddy-daughter dances, home-cooked meals, and bedtime stories. Believe in honesty and an honest day's work. Believe that love and faith make the world a better place. We do because we believe in you. We're Farm Bureau Insurance, and we don't just believe in Tennessee. 
We believe in Tennesseans. Farm Bureau Insurance, Tennessee's insurance company. Call Farm Bureau agent Travis Vance at 731-661-0102 or see him at 285 North Parkway in Jackson. Hello, I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, a family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. You know, home buying can be a long and confusing process, especially in today's market. While our Home Sweet Home Loan program offers incredibly competitive rates and allows you to keep your loan local throughout the entire life of the loan. So start your financial conversation with us today by visiting foundationbank.org or calling us on the number on the screen. In the meantime, go Lions! Kinsey Banking Company and Foundation Bank are an equal housing lender and member FDIC. And welcome back to Trinity Christian Academy. We're in a rain delay here in the middle of the sixth inning of play here at Trinity Christian Academy in West Tennessee. The heaviest of the rain appears to have left us, at least from what's going on outside. And we have a whole bunch of folks watching right now. The funny thing about this rain delay, we haven't lost any audience. Must be that great tap dancing show we're putting on here. But I want to remind you a little bit. We will remind you this is a copyright broadcast of Worthy Road Studios for 2024. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, editing, or further use of the ball game blitz broadcast without the written consent of Worthy Road Studios is hereby and strictly prohibited unless your name is one Paul Schulze. I'm going to tell you a little bit about our advertisers. Some of our main advertisers include Carlock Nissan, Aloha Pools, Jones Chevrolet, The Blacksmith Restaurant, Dynamics Physical Therapy, Humboldt Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, Elite Dental, The Bank of Jackson, McCoy's Heating Air, and Deaton's Carpet. And a special hello to these advertisers who pay money to be on the TCA broadcast as well. It's going to be our friends at Foundation Bank, Tennessee Tractor, Waterwell Solutions, West Tennessee Bank, Food Right, and a commercial you just saw coming on was Farm Bureau agent Travis Vance on North Parkway. want to talk a little bit about a few of these customers here, and we can get some testimonials in here. Talk about Farm Bureau Insurance and Travis Vance. Travis Vance, not only is he a personal friend of mine, but he is my insurance agent. I will tell you this, I switched to Farm Bureau Insurance, and Travis Vance, you know, and he has now has my car and auto insurance. Travis Vance saved me almost five hundred dollars a year on my car and homeowners insurance. And Travis Vance can do the same thing for you. Give Travis Vance a call or pay him a visit on North Parkway, just catty corner from the school board office. And Travis Vance and the fine folks at Farm Bureau will take care of all your insurance needs. I want to talk about some other friends of mine, the great folks at Food Right. Food Right with 11 locations in West Tennessee. Food Right, the home of the butcher, five for 25 meat specials. And we're not only talk, we're not talking just hamburger, we're talking steaks, we're talking chicken, we're talking chops, cheese, and all sorts of stuff. Five for 25 meat specials. Some of the best meat you'll find in all of West Tennessee. Hometown service, too. They'll walk your groceries out to the car for you they will take care of you the fine folks at food right 11 locations in west tennessee food right the home of the butcher our friends at water well solutions justin miller and the gang justin miller known as the field wizard out here at trinity christian academy because he takes care of the football field so well justin miller water well solutions three locations in trenton in somerville and in Trenton, Somerville, and Brownsville was the other location for Water Well Solutions. Whether you need a 16-inch well for, for, for a farming irrigation type service or whether you need a new well for your home, it's Water Well Solutions. Water Well Solutions not only selling the product, they service the product too. A lot of water wells up in the southern Illinois area over this past week damaged by tornadoes. It was Justin Miller and his crew at Water Well Solutions taking multiple crews up to Southern Illinois and Justin Miller personally serving those accounts. Some other of the fine sponsors will include, hey, the folks at Tennessee Tractor. 
200-acre farm or a half-acre lot, the folks at Tennessee Tractor have equipment for all of your needs. Whether you need to plow some fields and plant some corn or whether you just need to cut your yard, the folks at Tennessee Tractor with locations, again, all over West Tennessee. Tennessee Tractor, your official big green John Deere dealer, is there for you. And other 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 uh, spots that we want to take care of, the fine folks at West Tennessee Bank, West Tennessee Bank and Kurt Gehring. A Mr. Basketball in his own right, his family dominating the game of basketball here in West Tennessee for many a year, and Kurt Gehring dominates the banking field here in West Tennessee as well. Kurt Gehring and his fine staff can take care of all of your financial needs, checking, savings. You need financial advice or whatever it is, you can go get an appointment and you see Kurt Gehring and the fine folks at West Tennessee Bank for all of your needs. The good news is the rain has slowed down. That's the good news. You want the bad news? And the bad news from Aubrey Wilson, Aubrey Richardson. Headlights. Let's go and take a break. Water Well Solutions LLC offers experienced and diversified services throughout the greater Tennessee area. Water Well Solutions specializes in water well drilling here. operations. They're experienced in the design, construction, and maintenance of wells from 4 to 16 inches in diameter and depths up to 1,000 feet. Water Well Solutions has three locations in Somerville, Brownsville, and Trenton. For a consultation, give them a call at 731-779-1275. Legends never die, but your AC unit might. Routine maintenance and repair by McCoy's Heating and Air now will keep your system running at full capacity and potentially avoid costlier repairs and downtime when you need your AC the most. Our York certified and trained technicians are the best in the game. Go home to comfort with spring maintenance from McCoy's Heating and Air. The bonus cash extravaganza is underway right now at Carlock Nissan in Jackson. In addition to dealer discounts, get another 750 bonus cash on Nissan Sentra, another 750 bonus cash on Nissan Altima, an additional $1,000 bonus cash on Nissan Pathfinder, and 1250 on Nissan Frontier. Plus, rates as low as 0% and 3.9 for 84 months. The bonus cash extravaganza underway right now at Carlock Nissan. Van Drive, Jackson. Why go on vacation when you can live on vacation? Aloha Custom Pools will help you create your very own piece of paradise and you can enjoy it every day. What are you waiting for? Take the plunge. Call Aloha Custom Pools or visit us online. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. It's the off season, but it's the best season to buy at Aloha Custom Pools. Snag your dream pool now, and we promise you'll be splashing around by Memorial Day. 
What are you waiting for? Give us a call or visit us at alohacustompools.com. We realize you have a busy lifestyle. And at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Rain delay here at TCA. Jackson Christian leads TCA after five and a half games of play by a score of six to nothing. We've had a pretty nasty rainstorm come through. The good news is we got the we stopped play and got the field covered before the biggest part of the rain hit. There are giant lakes on the infield right now on the cover, but the good news is it is not on the field. The bad news of the night, we're going to see how things go because apparently yours truly's automobile took a baseball right in the schnauzer a few innings ago. And all I can say is I need to do a commercial for Morton Salt because when it rains, it pours apparently. It's been um, an interesting bit of time the last few days for yours truly with some illness and things like that, some hospital visits for my Miss Peggy. And speaking of that, speaking of Peggy's, we, run, we want to remind every one of you folks and turn serious for a moment. We want, we want to remind every one of you folks to keep Diamond Dave McCulley, his wife Peggy, Peggy, and his family in your thoughts and prayers. Most of you know by now Peggy battling A very serious illness. And she's fighting it for all she's worth. But the McCauley family needs your thoughts and prayers. And I ask you to take a minute and just have a, have a little thought for Diamond Dave and Miss Peggy and their kids as they fight this dread disease, terrible disease that Miss Peggy has right now. If y'all just take a minute and have a little silent thought, if there's any way you can do something for them, the family would greatly appreciate it. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Hi, I'm Stan Gerard for your local Food Right. Food Right is the home of the butcher. Food Right is proud to sell certified Angus beef. It's the very best there is. All of our beef, signature pork, and chicken products are cut and packed fresh daily by our in store butchers. To feed your family well, Food Right, with 11 locations across West Tennessee, is where you need to go. Have a great day, everyone, and much more importantly, God bless. Hello, I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, a family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. Your checking account should offer more than a place to just store your money. Our foundation benefits with high interest accounts include the flexibility of a checking account with tiered interest rates, identity theft protection, cell phone protection, and more. So start a financial conversation with us today by visiting foundationbank.org or calling us on the number at the screen. In the meantime, go Lions! 
McKinsey Banking Company is an equal housing lender, member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. For the past 22 years, Tennessee Tractor has been committed to you, our customers. That's why our locally owned business delivers great John Deere products with great service at a great price. From the backyard to the back 40, whatever size project your family's got, you can rely on us to help you get it done. From our friendly staff to our reliable equipment and our quality service, Tennessee Tractor has one goal, to keep you and your family up and running. Hometown value, hometown service. That's Tennessee Tractor. We are a team, a team composed of highly skilled physical therapists with new school treatment approaches and old school customer service principles. We are a community presence because we know our foundation rests in relationship building and involvement. We are leaders in this industry and we're putting in time daily to develop that aspect of thinking. We're more than a business. We're a team composed of individuals governed by a set of core values. We're more than a physical therapy company. We're a movement in the profession. We are your premier physical therapy team in West Tennessee. Your life. Your home. Your business. Your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. And welcome back to Trinity Christian and Kelly. My name's Stan Gerard. We're in the middle of a rain delay where Jackson Christian leads TCA 6 to nothing. We're in the middle of the sixth inning of play. The good news is the rain is slowing down. Jackson Christian's team is all around the right field foul pole. Their coaches are meeting in front of the dugout. The umpires are on the field. And we got folks looking over the field here in at Jackson Christian. Or excuse me, at TCA. I'm all up in an uproar today. For those of you who don't know, apparently my car took a foul ball a little while ago. And I was I was just honestly, I was just kidding when <laughs> I was just kidding when I said it. I didn't think it was gonna be true, but you know what? I've learned over the last several years, folks, there are a lot worse things that can happen to you in life. There are a lot worse things. A broken windshield is nothing compared to what a lot of people, like Diamond Dave and his family, are going through right now. That windshield's nothing. We need to worry, worry, and worry about things in the big picture, not... Not the little things that we're going to, we're not going to sweat the little things. We need to worry about the big things. But uh, we do know that the umpires are on the field. It must not be raining too hard because uh, we got folks standing out there. Uh, you, we got the scoreboard camera back on, and it does not look like it's raining too hard. Earlier, it was just coming down a bunch of buckets here in West Tennessee. And here at the field, and it was just coming a flood. Didn't know what was going to happen, but it sure does look like the rain is slowing down. We got a lot of people watching. I would love to take a few, you know, answer a few questions from you folks. We've got, we've still got quite a bit of a crowd watching. The comment section is wide open. Let's use that for something productive. Let's uh, let's have some questions. You know, ask Stan, ask the announcer. You know, let's let's talk a little sports go and keep things going here in West Tennessee. As we've got to wait this one out before the game is official. We're going to take a look here. If you can, if you can turn that camera and pan it towards the around the third base area, yeah, square up there and zoom right in on that. There, as you see, we're not looking at the umpires there. We don't want to look at those ugly guys. But look at that giant lake out there, as you can see, right in the middle of your picture. 
last year's with last year's tarp, most of that was seeped through rips in the uh, in the uh, tarp and it would be on the ground getting it wet. You can see a nice chunk in the outfield and second base there and around first. What will happen when we get ready to play, they'll push, try and push a lot of this water off first and get it off the tarp, push it into the outfield, get it off the tarp, then we'll roll things out. I don't know if they have outfield squeegees here or not, like you would see a lot of a major league and minor league parks where they can squish some of the outfield if needed. But uh, once, once they decide to remove the tarp, we would resume play fairly quickly. It does not take that much time to take this tarp off the field, and then we you know, could get ready quickly, of course. We have to allow the players some time to warm up, and then we would be back to play. That would be the good news. But uh, like I said, let's, uh, let's hear a few comments from those of you still watching. Well, listen, we've got a nice audience still watching the broadcast. We appreciate hearing from some of you folks in West Tennessee. You know, tell us about the eclipse and what's going on here. What we're going to do right now while we wait for some things to happen, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be back after this on the Ball Game Blitz. Believe in family. Believe in your fellow man. Believe in daddy-daughter dances, home-cooked meals, and bedtime stories. Believe in honesty and an honest day's work. Believe that love and faith make the world a better place. We do, because we believe in you. We're Farm Bureau Insurance, and we don't just believe in Tennessee. We believe in Tennessee. call the game, folks. Farm Bureau Insurance, I got crap I got to Tennessee's care of. insurance company. Call Farm Bureau agent Travis Vance at 731-661-0102 or see him at 285 oh North Parkway in Jackson. Hello, I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, a family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. You know, home buying can be a long and confusing process, especially in today's market. Well, our Home Sweet Home Loan program offers incredibly competitive rates and allows you to keep your loan local throughout the entire life of the loan. So start your financial conversation with us today by visiting foundationbank.org or calling us on the number on the screen. In the meantime, well, go live. I mean, if they're asking a question, I think it's Foundation Bank or Equal Housing Lender or Mary or whoever, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with that. Walker Wealth Solutions LLC offers experienced and diversified services throughout the greater Tennessee area. Walker Wealth Solutions specializes in water well drilling operations. Their experience in the design, construction, and maintenance of wells from 4 to 16 inches in diameter and depths up to 1,000 feet. Walker Wealth Solutions has three locations in Somerville, Brownsville, and Trenton. For a consultation, Give them a call at 731-779-1275. Legends never die, but your AC unit might. Routine maintenance and repair by McCoy's Heating and Air now will keep your system running at full capacity and potentially avoid costlier repairs and downtime when you need your AC the most. Our York certified and trained technicians are the best in the game. Go home to comfort with spring maintenance from McCoy's Heating and Air. The Bonus Cash Extravaganza is underway right now at Carlock Nissan in Jackson. In addition to dealer discounts, get another 750 bonus cash on Nissan Sentra, another 750 bonus cash on Nissan Altima, an additional $1,000 bonus cash on Nissan Pathfinder, and 1250 on Nissan Frontier. Plus, rates as low as 0% and 3.9 for 84 months. The Bonus Cash Extravaganza, underway right now at Carlock Nissan. Van Drive, Jackson. Why go on vacation when you can live on vacation? Aloha Custom Pools will help you create your very own piece of paradise and you can enjoy it every day. What are you waiting for? Take the plunge. Call Aloha Custom Pools or visit us online. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. 
Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Welcome back to Trinity Christian Academy. My name is Stan Gerard. We're in the middle of a rain delay where Jackson Christian leads TCA in the middle of the fifth inning of play by a score of six to nothing. We do have some breaking news, especially for those of you on the south end of Jackson. The South Walmart has apparently taken some damage to the store, and the store is currently closed. Uh, they've lost some lights out there, and Apparently, they've taken some straight wind damage to that south area of Jackson. So, if you're heading out later, the Jackson Walmart in South Jackson, as you're heading out of, as you're heading out of town on Highway 45, is closed at this time. If you know of any other damage or anything like that, or street closures or anything like that, you can leave them here in a message on the comments section, and we'll get that information out if you happen to know anything else. That's going on right now, because otherwise we're pretty landlocked as far as what's going as far as what's going on at this particular point in time. Taking a look at the weather radar, as soon as I can get that to pull up again, most of the rain has moved out of the out of the area. There's still some rain coming down, and. We're gonna be we're gonna be in a little bit of a zone where there's there's a line of storms running just to the north of I-40 from the southwest to the northeast, but they are tracking north of Jackson. Looks like they're hitting the uh, Bell's area and Humboldt, maybe in the line, but it looks like they're might scoot to the north of us. So depending on how this goes, we could the rain could be stopping relatively quickly. And then we'll see how long it is before we can get back to play here at Trinity Christian Academy. The good news is we've got lights. They're good lights here at Trinity Christian Academy. So we can, uh, as long as the players, the co especially the coaches and the umpires want to wait it out, remember it's all in the hands of the men in blue at their particular point the way I understand the rules. Uh, the game is in the hands of the umpires at this point. If they want to call it, they will. But they're going to do everything that they can to work with both Jackson Christian and Trinity Christian Academy about this ball game. But it looks like, to me, if we can get, if they can get this off and it doesn't affect the outfield too much, remember they can also pool this water they don't have to brush it off into the outfield. They can brush it off into the uh, area outside the foul line, outside the foul lines, and that would help keep some of it off the field. But once we get the water off the tarp, it would not be that long of a process before they get this field back and ready to play. You might have to do a little dirt work on the pitching mound and home plate and around home plate where your water may have seeped through a seam or something, but. If we can get back to play, it should happen relatively quickly because it looks like we have a break in these storms at the current time. The sky, while it is completely cloudy now, the sky has lightened up a bit here, and we do have, the breeze has knocked down. So and we're looking at seeing the umpire coming this way, and we haven't seen what he's going to be doing. He's going over towards the TCA bench as we speak as far as the game goes Jackson Christian scored one in the first three in the second and two in the top of the fifth inning for their six runs TCA but on the last thing we had the bases loaded with two outs but could not push anything across to get us back in the ball game it seems like we're snake bit that way a little bit right now but we'll see what happens. Connor Quarles on the mound for TCA as we speak. And Austin Kelly was on the bump when this game went into its particular rain delay. I'm going to switch screens here. We're going to get back and see what else is happening here in West Tennessee. 
Uh, but like we said, some storm damage reports coming in. The South Walmart is closed right now as they have taken some damage. Uh, some lights have gone down. Not whether sure it's inside or outside or a combination of both. But I think they're outside lights. And I'm told and news reports indicate that maybe because of straight line winds that came in with these storms. Uh, damage caused by straight line winds. We're going to read some of the things that are going on here. Goodwill is without power. There's rumors that apparently the, not wanting to start rumors, but I'm being, it's being reported that the raceway in South Jackson may have taken some damage as well. And so we pray for those folks out there, the businesses and the folks that live out in that area, that the damage is not too bad for them. But apparently we've taken some straight line winds in this storm. The strongest aspects of the storm did, at least when I was looking at the radar early, a lot of the strongest aspects of the storm were to the south and west of us here at Trinity Christian Academy. But we did get that one shower in that brought this delay upon us. The Jackson Christian Baseball Club going back out in the outfield a little bit. And it looks like they may be doing a little bit of stretching and whatnot. So that keeps me hopeful that we will return to action here in West Tennessee at Trinity Christian Academy. Some more good news is we're seeing a few people start to float back into the stands area. Uh, I know we don't have the center field camera right now where we could show that, but a few people are starting to come back in. The umpires are still in the field. We've got uh, Hayden Hogue and one of the umpires and the Jackson Christian coach are getting ready to meet here. And we're going to see what is about to happen between those two teams. Hopefully they'll remember to to uh, look this way and give us a heads up. You can probably open that window right about now too as the rain has for the most part stopped. At least the wind is not blowing. But the coaches for Jackson Christian and TCA continue to talk with the home plate umpire. There you go. And you can see where the sky is lighting up considerably. But there's the brain trust right in the middle of your picture of what's going on in West Tennessee. The Jackson Christian Ball Club walking around the outfield, outfield's edge, stretching their legs a bit. And I am hopeful that we will return to play here in a relatively short amount of time. We appreciate each and every one of you for staying with us during this weather delay. I know listening to me yapper a whole lot does not do this is not the most entertaining thing in the world, but we appreciate each and every one of you for staying tuned for TCA baseball right here on the ball game blitz. We'll remind you, TCA will be out of town the rest of the week. They're, or they're not out of town. They're playing at Northside on Thursday and at Lambeth against Madison on Friday, I believe, is the schedule. So this will be the last varsity broadcast um, for the week for Trinity Christian Academy. Our next broadcast here at TCA for the varsity side would be on Monday the 15th, a week from tonight, as TCA hosts our friends from Tipton Rosemark Academy. Then late in the week on Friday, we will host Covington. On Tuesday the 23rd, we'll host Faye Academy. And we'll wrap up our regular season broadcast coverage with a Thursday, April 25th game against Northside. I'm scheduled to have middle school baseball on Thursday on West Tennessee Sports right here at TCA, it'll be Jackson Christian coming to town to take on the 17-1 and Trinity Christian Academy Lions middle school baseball team. You don't want to miss that one for sure. It should be a good night of baseball. Hopefully things will be drying out by that time. Scheduled for rain tomorrow, possibly Wednesday, but today we were expecting rain later. We didn't quite get it in and expecting a 100% chance of rain tomorrow as well. Taking a look at some uh, other games, there's a uh, 
Chester County and Scotts Hill softball game in rain delay at the moment. They completed one game out at USJ. USJ versus uh, Fay Academy. USJ won that game handily. And I'm told that the game two was canceled for the evening. We'll be made up at a later date. You can see the Jackson Christian team doing a lap around the field. And we'll continue to see and wait and see what is going on. Hey, some post-tennis, postseason basketball honors. The Jackson Sun All-West Tennessee team is out. Making the first team was Caleb Williams. And making the second team was Braden Waller, two of the latest members of the 1,000-point scoring club here for Trinity Christian Academy. They are members number five and six. And, you know, it was a game where both players scored, reached the 1,000-point mark within four minutes of each other in a particular ball game. But congratulations to Trinity Christian Academy's Caleb Williams for making the – Jackson Sun, all West Tennessee first team, and Braden Waller for making the all West Tennessee second team as well. And those two are the best of friends as well. Jackson Christian going to take another lap around the field this way in the opposite direction. We'll see if we can find some more news for you here as we go along. And if you folks will bear with me as we continue going. Not seeing a whole lot, but we have had reports of damage with the Walmart and Jackson. That is confirmed closed at this point. Some shear, some uh, wind shears may have uh, toppled uh, lights out in the parking lot or may have done some damage to the roof. But uh, I have confirmed that the uh, Walmart at South Jackson is closed. Reports of other damage in South Jackson uh, coming in. So if you've got a story or you know of any confirmed damage here in the Jackson, Tennessee area, appreciate you giving it to us right here on the Ball Game Blitz, and we'll get it out there as soon as we can. Here we are still in the rain delay, and it's 6 nothing, Jackson Christian as they lead TCA. We're in the middle of the fifth. Getting ready to start the bottom of the sixth with Jackson Christian leading this game, ball game by a score of six to nothing. I agree with the folks who say, let's play ball. I can't not deny it. If I'm going to come out here and have my windshield broken, my one of my headlights taken out, let's at least get the ball game in, you know? What the heck? Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to take another two-minute break. When we come back, more of the Countdown to Rain Delay show right here on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. It's the off season, but it's the best season to buy at Aloha Custom Pools. Snag your dream pool now, and we promise you'll be splashing around by Memorial Day. What are you waiting for? Give us a call or visit us at alohacustompools.com. We realize you have a busy lifestyle, and at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. 
Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warrant on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Hi, I'm Stan Gerard for your local Food Right. Food Right is the home of the butcher. Food Right is proud to sell certified Angus beef. It's the very best there is. All of our beef, signature pork, and chicken products are cut and packed fresh daily by our in-store butchers. To feed your family well, Food Right, with 11 locations across West Tennessee, is where you need to go. Have a great day, everyone, and much more importantly, God bless. Hello, I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. Your checking account should offer more than a place to just store your money. Our foundation benefits with high interest accounts include the flexibility of a checking account with tiered interest rates, identity theft protection, cell phone protection, and more. So start a financial conversation with us today by visiting foundationbank.org or calling us on the number at the screen. In the meantime, go Lions! McKenzie Banking Company is an equal housing lender, member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. For the past 22 years, Tennessee Tractor has been committed to you, our customers. That's why our locally owned business delivers great John Deere products with great service at a great price. From the backyard to the back 40, whatever size project your family's got, you can rely on us to help you get it done. From our friendly staff to our reliable equipment and our quality service, Tennessee Tractor has one goal, to keep you and your family up and running. Hometown value, hometown service. That's Tennessee Tractor. And welcome back to Trinity Christian Academy. Well, folks, the good news is they're taking the weighted down bags off of the infield. The TCA team is out of uniform, and they're lugging all the giant sandbags they use to weight down the corners of the field. So that tells me we're going to play baseball here in West Tennessee at some point. Otherwise, we'd just be leaving it, leaving this stuff on the field. So I believe in fairly short order that we're going to be playing baseball. The only thing, unfortunately, yours truly is not going to be able to get out there and lift a few bags with them. I'm on the injured list for that for that duty. My days of bag lifting are over. And for you young folks watching, man, be smart. Don't get old. Stay in school and let your parents worry about it. Life's much easier that way. But the TCA kids here, the baseball team, working hard to get the, these heavy bags off the field so we can somehow get back to play. You can see in this slow cover, take a slow pan here all the way across here like we're running the bases of all the rain coming that has found its way to the field here. You can see rain accumulating around third, second, and first as well. But the good news is, the rain has stopped. Some folks have thought about, well, why don't this play tomorrow? 100% chance of rain tomorrow. Your best chance of at least getting one game in is to play right now. Whether, we, whether you can get two games in or not, I'm not here to decide that. But I think we have a window to at least get one game in here if we can, uh, if we can get this tarp off the field in a timely fashion. 
and I don't know what type of squeegee system they have here. I do know the fe- I do know that this field takes water very well, just like the football field at TCA. It takes water, and uh, it will drain water very quickly as well. So hopefully the outfield is not in too terribly bad shape, and I will assume that they would try and wash this water off to the – to the outfield, to the uh, foul lines here. Some of the Jackson crowd, Jackson Christian folks, starting to come back into the area here, into the stands, as you can see right there. You know, it's great that anybody stay at all. But we're looking around. We're going to see what's going to be happening here. This is the way it works sometimes in baseball. Baseball. You know, one of the very few games on the planet that does not use a clock of any kind. It goes as it goes. Matter of fact, the sun is trying to come out a little bit here at Jackson Christian. I don't know how far left we can get that camera and maybe try and catch a little bit of it. No, we're not going to be able to get too much of that. But you can see the reflection off of some of the players. The clouds have broken a little bit. And sun starting to come out here in West Tennessee here at Trinity Christian Academy. The crowd ever hopeful it will be continuing play here. And we expect to get underway. Hopefully, I'm going to say within the next half hour or so, maybe we'll get back to play here at Trinity Christian Academy. The good news is it looks like we're going to play baseball. The bad news is right now Trinity Christian Academy down by a score of 6 to nothing. It was Jackson Christian scoring one in the third, three in the third, and two in the fifth. And as you see, let's take a, let's take a zoom in here and watch how they're going to peel this tarp off the field here. And this is how they do it every day or on the days they put it in. Looks like we're going to drag it straight across the field. You'll see him trying to fold it over as it goes. That may be a losing cause. But we're dragging the field off. No puggles so far. As the ump- – you, you can see in that corner, look at that right corner there, one of the blues, one of the umpires helping things along here. Good to see. Looks like one of the Jackson Christian coaches – Pitching in as well. And we're going to try and drag this tarp off the field. They did not put the tarp on the field last night. They determined that it needed some rain. So we didn't have a ton of rain last night. So they let the they let they let God's watering system take care of the field and give it the nourishment that it needs. And we just had to rake the infield and outfield a little, or rake the infield and the pitcher's mound and the batting area a little bit. So far, what we can see of the infield, we look in good shape. Looks just like it was when they rolled the turf on the field. We've now got it folded. We now got the tarp folded in half, approximately. And they're going to continue to drag what they're doing now is we're going to use that. We're going to drag the water using these guys up here pulling the mules. We're using them to drag the the tarp over and draw that water off of the bottom of the tarp. And these big, young, strong horses for TCA are going to get this field ready to go here in just a few minutes. So far, what we can see of the infield looks in great shape. Looks like it's ready to play right here and right now. You're going to end up seeing the water is going to come off. It's going to be several feet into the outfield. So in most place, in most circumstances, that may not affect the play too terribly much. The largest chunks of water, it's all going to spill off when it comes to the end of the tarp. But there were heavy deposits around second base, first base, and third base as well. We've reached the um, outfield wall. And take a look at that infield there. Looks in great shape. As we can see, there's still some standing water. Yep, we've got some standing water a little bit on the outfield. 
We'll see where that comes, see what happens with that. But And now they're going to bring it back over. And they'll do that a couple of times, and then we'll roll. They'll keep they'll keep folding it over, and then they will roll it over until it gets to fit the big wheel that's out there, the big green wheel or the big black wheel that you can see right in the center of your picture. They'll roll the tarp back onto that thing and then roll it off the field, and then they'll do a little quick prep work on the field, and we'll get ready to play. There you can see on the right, hand side, we'll pan the camera over that way. You've got some players getting some squeegees out right there. They're getting some squeegees and brooms out, and they're going to push this water that's close to the edge back off the field. That looks like some of the middle school boys maybe out there pitching. And they're supposed to play at Jackson Christian. Seventy my deal is I imagine that's for all. You can see it's those have rollers on, and it's going to push the water. What they're trying to do is push it out, spread it out, and get it off the field. I just wish we had about ten more of those and we can squeegee this field real well. And there's a drainage system right there at that corner where the water will go underneath and off the field. And you're seeing that water is coming off quickly. If you ever wanted to see how they take water off the field, this is how they do it. I mean, this is this is down to the bottom line. They do the same thing at the professional level, except there's a lot more folks doing it. But this is your but these are your sons and your nephews and your grandchildren out working hard trying to get this field ready for play. As you can see, we've got a puddle in short right field. But as you can see, we are moving the water off the field quickly and effectively as well. So I continue to be hopeful that we'll be playing baseball here relatively quickly at Trinity Christian Academy. The water is coming off the field. That's the good news. The bad news is TC's got some work to do in the bottom of the sixth as they're down by a score of six to nothing. Looking ahead, as we go into the bottom of the sixth, let's see. It looks like it's going to be about the meat of the order for Trinity Christian Academy. If my notes are still correct, it's going to be Nick Jones, Harrison Vance, and Max Richardson the heart and soul of the Trinity Christian Academy lineup to bat for TCA to get things going here in the top or in the bottom of the six. If it's going to happen, most likely it's going to have to happen in this scene. We've got all of our heavy hitters coming up to bat, so I'm, I'm eternally hopeful that we will get back to play and that our heroes will be blessed and we can start knocking a few around the ballpark here and get back into this baseball game with our friends from down the street, the Eagles of Jackson Christian School. We're going to take another two-minute break. When we come back, we'll continue the rain delay show, stands, musings, and more right here on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. We are a team, a team composed of highly skilled physical therapists with new school treatment approaches and old school customer service principles. We are a community presence because we know our foundation rests in relationship building and involvement. We are leaders in this industry and we're putting in time daily to develop that aspect of thinking. We're more than a business. We're a team composed of individuals governed by a set of core values. We're more than a physical therapy company. We're a movement in the profession. We are your premier physical therapy team in West Tennessee. Your life. Your home. Your business. Your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. Believe in family. Believe in your fellow man. Believe in daddy-daughter dances, home-cooked meals, and bedtime stories. Believe in honesty and an honest day's work. Believe that love and faith make the world a better place. We do because we believe in you. We're Farm Bureau Insurance, and we don't just believe in Tennessee. We believe in Tennesseans. Farm Bureau Insurance, Tennessee's insurance company. 
Call Farm Bureau agent Travis Vance at 731-661-0102 or see him at 285 North Parkway in Jackson. Hello, I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, a family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. You know, home buying can be a long and confusing process, especially in today's market. While our Home Sweet Home Loan program offers incredibly competitive rates and allows you to keep your loan local throughout the entire life of the loan. So start your financial conversation with us today by visiting foundationbank.org or calling us on the number on the screen. In the meantime, go Lions! McKenzie Banking Company and Foundation Bank are an equal housing lender and member FDIC. Walker Wealth Solutions LLC offers experienced and diversified services throughout the greater Tennessee area. Walker Wealth Solutions specializes in water well drilling operations. They are experienced in the design, construction, and maintenance of wells from 4 to 16 inches in diameter and depths up to 1,000 feet. Walker Wealth Solutions has three locations in Somerville, Brownsville, and Trenton. For a consultation, give them a call at 731-779-1275. And welcome back to Trinity Christian Academy. My name is Stan Gerard. We're going to take that. We're going to take this camera. We're going to zoom down just to the left side of the batter circle here, to the left side of the picture, and give you a little show of what's going on there. Unfortunately, the the, the cover covering home plate there, as you can see, it looks like there may be some water has somehow gotten underneath that. Now the question is, where is it? And how deep does it go if it's not, man, just the man I need to see. You got two claims. Two claims? I assume we need to have a talk after this game. Yes. Folks, this is my insurance agent, Travis Vance. And, Travis, how many weeks has it been? Uh, about three weeks? Yeah, about three. Yeah, less than a month. But the, the deal is here. The, de the deal here is. Just bought my insurance policy from Travis, and he saved me a bunch of money over the course of a year, projected to. Travis, in a, in a situation like this, when your windshield and headlights get broke, what does it look like from an insurance point of view? Well, two separate claims there, Stan. Uh, two different baseballs, two instances, so it would be two claims. Both would be comprehensive, subject to deductible on your policy. When I, I was hit twice. Two times. Uh -huh. Oh, my. And has not been hit in how many years? Four or five? How long have you been calling ball games? Uh, I've been calling ball games in Jackson since 2006. So you got hit first time but twice in one day. So, in other words... I'm a two-time Hall of Famer for getting my car hit. Uh, yeah, like what's our What's my deductible? I, I do have the policy in my car, by the way. It's, it's it's on the it's on the front dash. But folks, my insurance agent Travis Vance here. Travis, come down here real close and tell them, give them the phone number here where folks can call if they need some insurance from Farm Bureau. Seven three one six six one. 0102. And where are you located at, big man? 285 North Parkway here in Jackson. Any and all types of insurance needs, car, home, life, health. And commercial. And commercial insurance. Anything you could need, Travis Vance, you can give him a call at the number you just heard. And how you, and how you like that? I've been up here calling a ball game, and my insurance agent has already been on the job. I'm serious. You've been, you been on the job. I guess I probably need to come see you tomorrow. Or just call. We'll just call. See, we'll, we'll call. You'll, you'll walk me through it and point me in the right direction where I need to go. Don't expect that to be a breakfast call, though. I think I may go home and curl up in the field position and just whimper for all, for the rest of the night. You know, watch the Blue Bloods or something. But, Travis, you, you look at this. The field, the infield looks in good position. Outfield's got – or the, the batter's circle – has got some work to do. Can we fix that with kitty litter? Yes. And we're in the process of doing it. We're, they're bringing out mattresses, foam mat. I got a bed that we can almost donate. They're they're donating foam mattresses. If you see that on the left of your picture, look at them putting the foam mattresses on the on the field to suck up this uh, this this um, water that's standing. 
Now, once they get that water off the field, they got these bags. You and I will kid and call it kitty litter, but it's actually kind of a, it's kind of like a fake dirt combination of different things that they put on, that they can put on the fields, not only to help dry, but to repack fields, fill in holes. You'll see all the times you go into a ball game and see what these giant squares poking them into the ground. They're packing it down using that type of dirt. We'll probably see a grayish mixture of a, a kitty litter. I've got a lot of kitty litter at home that we could probably use to help out. But uh, kind of, it, it's not the same stuff you put on your garage floor at all. But it's, it's a combination of some stuff that goes with dirt. And it can sop that stuff up. We need to get the brawny uh, paper towel account signed up, Paul. And so we can have them pay for this cleanup situation here. Looking at the outfield, you can't see that right now, but you've got the Jackson Christian coaches and the umpire looking at it. TCA, we've got some TCA players out in right field. They are squeegeeing off the um, right field line. Two different baseballs. I'm sorry. Were you a witness? My insurance agent saw it happen, huh? And you're going, boy, I got some paper. That just said I've got paperwork to do tomorrow. Oh, my. We've heard, we've heard Walmart is closed with some damage. From where? Remember Kenny Thompson down there at Melissa's? Remember Kenny Thompson? Yeah. Picture 20 minutes after the hail. We've got golf ball size hail or bigger. I'm looking at a picture of hail in a man's hand. It's covering half of his hand in South Jackson. Yeah, we've heard we've heard the South Walmart is damaged. I've heard re other people are saying the raceway has taken damage. And if you go down Highway 18, there's not a leaf on a tree. And apparently, Highway 18 were being reported. Straight, gotta be straight line winds. Hail has taken leaves off of trees, as reported by Farm Bureau agent Travis Vance. And so we were lucky here in North Jackson. We were very lucky here in North Jackson, Travis. You know, as I, as I was saying earlier, you know what? Aubrey, Aubrey Richardson come up and told me, you know, we were coming back from break. And he goes, and here's the good news. I think we're going to play. He goes, and you want to know what the bad news is? He goes, your car got hit in the windshield and on the thing, on the headlight. And, you know, and, 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 yeah, it upset me a little bit. I, I hear, I'm not going to lie. Nobody likes, their, nobody likes their baby to get hurt. But, the, you know, but the deal is, Travis, you know, and you and I have talked before. You know, we've sat down and talked for a while. A lot of people out there in the world hurting a lot more than my car. And so those are the people that we need to pray and worry about. You know, folks like Diamond Dave and his wife Peggy and the battle that they're going through with her serious illness. And a lot of other people out there that we don't know about that you need to think about and pray about and, and, and help the Lord reach them to where they can be helped and, and and, and make their life a little bit easier. This is stuff I'm not good at talking about. But uh, there are a lot more serious things than this, uh, than this uh, damage to my car. You know, that's a good chunk of what's going to be out of pocket. You know, there's going to be a windshield, a windshield and a couple of headlight, a, a headlight. Hopefully nothing with the uh, hood of the car. The hood's good. So it's just a matter of replacing parts. That's it. It's just a matter of replacing parts. It's brand new. Minor. Very minor. And, 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 you know, it's, you know, we'll, we'll get, you'll, tell, you'll tell me where I need to go to get estimates and stuff. And we'll go and we'll get estimates. And then, and then I'll know, you're going to tell me what my deductible is. And then we'll make a decision on what we need to do. You know, you'll direct me in the right this this is not what you get you'll get a direction where you need to do anything or not whether it's worth your while to just go ahead and pay it out of pocket or move on because something like this you know a, a something minor like this 
you know, that, that's not what the deductible is for. That's, that's for, you know, when I hit the wall coming out of turn three at Clay Hill Motorsports. That's, that's, where, that, that's where that deductible comes in. Or, or whether I, or like I was hit head on on Highland Avenue once. You know, and, and so that's, you know, that's what that type of stuff for is. But, you know, it, it, it's a blessing that it's there. But it's more of a blessing if you folks out there, you know, I, I'd love for you to say a prayer for me. I appreciate it very much. My girlfriend was in the hospital for a couple of days. It looked bad for a while, some heart issues. But thank the Lord she's at home and is in a much smiling mood. Her, her pulse rate is up to around 70 or 75 now. It was in the low 30s, which is bad. And so Miss Peggy took a, took a rally for me. And she's back to her usual self, whacking me in the back of the head when I say something that makes her mad. That's why I know she's feeling good. The harder she whacks, the harder, the better she's feeling. As I like to tell her, she concusses me a lot. But, uh, you know, the, the, fan, the, the fans are milling around here on the field. The players are milling around. And you can see, you can see, if you look at the batter's circle, where they've, they've mopped up a lot of that water. Now, once they do that, it looks like there's a little slant to that that goes away. So what will happen is that as you take a rake into that, you're going to get to dry ground relatively quickly on that. So what they'll do is they'll rake that down and out. They'll use that to cover some of it. They'll put the, put the, the drying agents around there, and we'll be back to play. Because it looks like home plate is not actually in too terribly bad a shape. You already see where they put some, some of the drying material down there. If we had somebody could zoom the camera in just behind and to the left of home plate, right there in the middle where you see that dry spot, that's some of the drying agent they've already put down to help dry up and soak up some of the, uh, that's, that's some of the baseball kitty litter, as I like to say. And you can see these old mattress pads they're using to dry up and soak up the field just like a sponge. I was telling somebody earlier we need to get the Bounty Paper Towel Company to be a sponsor of this broadcast. They just bring a truckload of stuff out here, and we'd be we'd be in like Flint, you know, for everything. But we've got we've got folks out here working on. It. We've got players, coaches. That looks like Coach Bunch to me. I guess the the middle school game got postponed. Jackson Christian. Let me talk about that. Let's talk about that one. Jackson Christian and TCA in middle school baseball. TCA 17 and 1 on the year. Never been another year like this in Trinity Christian Academy. One year was close, but n this is this is one of those this is one of those groups of young men. Well, this could be once, twice in a lifetime type. This is a special group of young men that we got coming up. And you know, Coach Hogue's gotta be licking his chops, wait for these youngsters to come up, wait for them to get to be freshmen and sophomores. And when they finally get into their prime as a junior, as a junior class, where well, they'll they'll be ready and, and the balls will be flying and and and, and we'll be beating on Tipton Rosemark and, and and you know and, and those folks and and and, and these and these and we'll clip the wings of the Eagles and you know and things like that. You know where I'm going with this, don't you, buddy? But uh, I'm hoping somebody's listening to it. But uh, you know, it, it, it's it's. It, it, it's a great group of young men, and I'll tell you, I tell you, with this group, and Travis, you may not know this, a couple of those young men start and started a lawn mowing business together this week. Um, Sweat, Zane, started it, and I'm having, I'm having a brain aneurysm right now. It's one of your special boys. That you take care of and help with. Is Joe helping these things? Joe's helping? With the. Uh, Joe's helping those things? Yeah. Okay, good. Zane and Joe came out and helped me and worked in my yard. They came out at 8 30 Saturday morning. They cut my yard down to, to regulation uh, golf course size. What they did then did help me in my bedroom. I had some. Yeah, and we're getting ready to bring out the kitty litter here. We'll have you zoom in. On the kitty litter operation gets going, but they helped me do some work in my bedroom. I had to clean some stuff up in the bedroom, and then they cleaned out my garage as well. And, and I tell you, young kids, you know, you, 
lawn mowing businesses are they're all over the place. I tell those youngsters, you want to make some money, do the odd jobs. Call yourself the odd job boys. But, you know, those young men, instead of looking for a handout, they went to work. And, and, that's, the, and, that's, the, and that's the type of thing that we look for in our youth, and we're, we're glad to see it come to fruition here. You're seeing them now pouring that drying agent, as Coach Hogue pours that drying agent onto the surface. Once they get a good mess of that stuff on, then they will start raking it and working it in so it can get underneath the surface and dry things up a little bit. And then we return to play because we're not we're not as worried about the edges so much, but we gotta have the batter's boxes and front of home plate, you know, in pretty sound shape. Kind of behind it, from about from the umpire's point on, I would say that's not as serious. But definitely the batter's boxes and in front, because in front of the home plate's a live ball too. So you gotta have that good and dry. They're working around there, and like I said, once we get a few more bags on there. It will start to dry up the product, and it will start to dry up the rain, and then we can start working it into the ground with the rakes, old school style, and we can get back to play. Travis, the only thing that we could do, and nobody's going to want to do I did this once when I was a youngster working with a baseball team many years ago. And it's like the Rolling Stone said, bring out the fire, the gasoline. will take you places that you've never seen. We did that last year. We did that last year with a bunch of fans, too. And we'd like to thank the the uh, Shady Tree Electrical Company for coming out that afternoon and and getting the lights and electricity back on too. After we blew all those circuit breakers as well, you never knew there was a, there was an electric company called Shade Tree Electronics <laughs> to uh, to uh, help you out here. See now what they're doing? That we're working we're working this in. You're getting an education on how they get a field ready for play and how they get a field recovering from. A rainy situation like this, and, and it was killing me. We still got a good amount of, of, of viewers watching this, and I'm so grateful to each. You know, my producer, he's there talking to himself about it. He, he's just going, I can't believe this. But we appreciate it. We appreciate each and every one of you who has chosen to stay with me here during this rain delay and hear the – you know, hear a, hear a little breakdown of what's happening in some of Stan's musings, and you've learned about insurance. What other baseball broadcast in West Tennessee is going to teach you about insurance and about working a baseball field and the weather all in the same broadcast? It's just not going to happen. Yep, temperatures, gonna be, we're going to have okay temperatures. The rain is pretty much gone. Uh, there could be a spot shower, but the rain – it's pretty much gone for the night. It will be picking up later, and if you're thinking, well, why don't we just play, finish this off at Jackson Christian tomorrow, I go, well, two reasons. I'm going to be busy taking care of my car tomorrow, and number two, that's pretty much a 100% chance of rain. It ain't happening tomorrow. It is not happening. That's why, that is why we are working so hard on this field right here. You know, they're not only going to try and get one game in, they're going to try and get two games in. If we do get to the second game, then the Jackson Christian broadcasting will take over for that ball game. And you'll be able to watch that game on the Jackson Christian Facebook page. But we will stay with you here on the TCA Facebook page to the conclusion of this game and into the post game show. I will be right here with you, folks. I'm not going nowhere. I then called Miss Peggy, and she's not real happy about the uh, damage to the car. She's ready to put her clothes on and find somebody's tail to hurt. She is not She is not a happy camper right now. But what we're going to do is take a break, and when we come back, more of the, more of the uh, rain delay show right here on the Ballgame Blitz Sports Network. 
Water Well Solutions LLC offers experienced and diversified services throughout the greater Tennessee area. Water Well Solutions specializes in water well drilling operations. Their experience in the design, construction, and maintenance of wells from 4 to 16 inches in diameter and depths up to 1,000 feet. Water Well Solutions has three locations in Somerville, Brownsville, and Trenton. For a consultation, give them a call at 731-779-1275. Legends never die, but your AC unit might. Routine maintenance and repair by McCoy's Heating and Air now will keep your system running at full capacity and potentially avoid costlier repairs and downtime when you need your AC the most. Our York certified and trained technicians are the best in the game. Go home to comfort with spring maintenance from McCoy's Heating and Air. The Bonus Cash Extravaganza is underway right now at Carlock Nissan in Jackson. In addition to dealer discounts, get another $750 bonus cash on Nissan Sentra, another $750 bonus cash on Nissan Altima, an additional $1,000 bonus cash on Nissan Pathfinder, and $1,250 on Nissan Frontier. Plus, rates as low as 0% and 3.9 for 84 months. The Bonus Cash Extravaganza, underway right now at Carlock Nissan. Van Drive, Jackson. Why go on vacation when you can live on vacation? Aloha Custom Pools will help you create your very own piece of paradise and you can enjoy it every day. What are you waiting for? Take the plunge. Call Aloha Custom Pools or visit us online. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. It's the off season, but it's the best season to buy at Aloha Custom Pools. Snag your dream pool now, and we promise you'll be splashing around by Memorial Day. What are you waiting for? Give us a call or visit us at alohacustompools.com. We realize you have a busy lifestyle, and at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor wants on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. 
Hi, I'm Stan Gerard for your local Food Right. Food Right is the home of the butcher. Food Right is proud to sell certified Angus beef. It's the very best there is. Okay, All of our nothing. beef, signature pork, and chicken products if, if, are if, cut if and packed got, fresh daily by our in store butchers. To me. feed your family well, Food Right, with 11 locations across West Tennessee, is where you need to go. Have a great day, everyone, myself, and much more importantly, God bless. Boy, you talk about food, and you see all that good meat that you saw in those cases at Food Right, all those pictures, that great chops, steaks, and beef products. The fine folks at Food Right, the home of the butcher, they hand cut meat in their store daily. Each store has its own full-time butcher. They hand cut meat daily in that store. This is not some stuff that's prepackaged and brought in on a truck from from Katmandu or something like that. This is cut and packaged for you right in Jackson, right in Bells, right in Dyer, right in uh, Tiptonville and other places as well. So, uh, Food Right, the home of the butcher, five for 25 meat specials, and you just flat can't beat it. And all these meat specials, Hey, it's not just it's just not hamburger and stuff like that. You can get some T-bone steaks in those meat specials, and you get a nice size piece of meat. You know, you get that strip steak, and you get that ribeye combination in there on that T-bone. Son, that's some good eating. And you can only get that at that price from the fine folks at Food Right with locations all over West Tennessee. Food Right, the home of the butcher. Chances are, wherever you're watching this broadcast from, chances are there's a Food Right right near you the good news is you're looking at the drying agent on the field getting the uh, home plate area in shape if you were to pan the camera to the left a little bit you can or to the right a little bit you can see the jackson christian eagles baseball team starting to loosen up in this game and i've been told we've sold everything out of the concession stand there's not much left a plague of angry locusts have come through have taken everything. But bottom line is we're going to play baseball. It's a humid night. Don't get me wrong. But the weather is out of here for the evening in West Tennessee. Not sure what the time frame is for getting back to broadcasting. I'm assuming with umpires on the field, and I'm not seeing them work that key layer in, I'm assuming we're pretty much – it's going to be pretty quick to get back to play with Jackson Christian already on the field warming up. I know a lot of the TCA players, they got out of uniform so they could uh, get something else on to, to work the field and get the tarp on and off the field. So a lot of them are going to have to change back into uniform. But the good news is we will be back here playing baseball in just a short amount of time. Justin Miller of uh, Waterwell Solutions and Tennessee Tractor is is you know is one of our advertisers. And boy if we have if we have a water pumping system underneath this field, Justin will be knowing how to make that work and to suck that water from underneath the field. I once played on a high school football field where we actually had the water would drain through the field into some holding areas below the field and you could flip a switch in the school to either flip it and suck the water off the field, or you could flip the switch in the other way and motors to pump water onto the field. And that was called the PAT system years ago. It was a, it was a high-tech system way back in the day. It's not used much now, but it was an interesting system where you could drain a field that was raining, getting flooded, and you could also water a field that was dry as well. We'll remind everybody we're in the middle of the sixth inning of play here at, ja at Trinity Christian Academy. Jackson Christian does lead this game by a score of six to nothing. We are in the middle of the sixth inning of play for Trinity Christian Academy. When we get back to play, unless I've totally screwed up my score sheet, it's going to be the heavy hitters for TCA coming to bat. Nick Jones, Harrison Vance, and Max Richardson. One of the things I think is going to be interesting to see 
and I know if, if it was in the major leagues, he probably wouldn't see. But will Jackson Christian continue with Austin Kelly pitching for the Eagles, or is he done for the night with this long layoff? Is he going to be done for the night? We'll have to just wait and see on that. Let's see if I can get to his uh, pitch tolls, whether or not it will let me get to that or not. And the game stream is not going to let me get to it at this time. It's on hold as well. But um, it'll be interesting to see if Jackson Christian continues with Kelly on the mound. If so, if he does not continue, who will they bring out to pitch? Could be something that maybe ends up being favorable to TCA hitting. We can get back to this ball game. Remember, we've only got two innings left to play in this game for TCA. We've got six small outs for the Lions to get if we are to come back and win this ball game or at least get in a situation where we can go extra innings here at Trinity Christian Academy. We remind you that um, we are in damage control right now, rain delay. We have a major storm hit Jackson. We got grazed. We just took a little nip to the chin here in North Jackson. South Jackson took an Ernie Shaver's punch to the head in what they got weather-wise. Apparently on Highway 18, hail taking, shredding the leaves off of trees. Hail and wind damaging the lighting system at Walmart, possibly damaging other buildings and homes as well. We haven't heard of any injuries and or fatalities at this point, but there is some significant damage with the storm in West Tennessee here in Jackson this evening. The wind continues to come out of the south. The flag is blowing. It's blowing about 10 miles an hour or something like that. The umpires are still on the field, God bless them. And we continue to get ready for baseball here. The teams, TCA has come, come out of their dressing room. They've gotten dressed. Jackson Christian, TCA, both on the field Warming up. Fans are in the stands. If we can take that camera and do a little pan of the fans in the stands, we'll see some of the hardy souls. There's here. Look at all the rain behind the visitors' stands there. That's that's a that's that's Lake Stan. We'll call that Lake Stan over there behind the Jackson Christian bench. We pan to the right, and there's Aubrey, there's Aubrey, Aubrey Richardson, and some of the other folks. A hardy crowd here. Staying here. This game started at 4 o'clock. We've been on the air for three hours and 33 minutes. This is like doing a – this is like the length of an average high school football broadcast. Actually, a football broadcast a lot of times don't ask, last this long. But, you know, we are going into this um, 4 o'clock. We're into this 7.34. We're almost in this broadcast four hours. Four hours we are into this broadcast, and I'm certainly glad that many of you have chosen to stay with us through the course of this game. A little personal update for you, just in case you haven't heard. You're always in danger when you come to a baseball game, and I thought I had my car hit pretty good. My car has been hit twice by baseballs tonight, sharing a headlight and my windshield. Travis Vance, my insurance agent, saw it happen, has already been up here, and you heard him. You heard him tell me what I'm going to need to do and what the process will be, and we'll get started on getting that process done tomorrow. Travis will make some phone calls tomorrow morning. I'll give him a call, and he's going to point me in the right direction, and Farm Bureau Insurance is going to take care of this and make it like it never even happened. We're going to take another break, and when we come back, more of the Rain Delay Show and Stan's Musings right here on the Ball Game Blitz. Hello, I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. Your checking account should offer more than a place to just store your money. Our foundation benefits with high-interest accounts include the flexibility of a checking account, 
with tiered interest rates, identity theft protection, cell phone protection, and more. So start a financial conversation with us today by visiting foundationbank.org or calling us on the number at the screen. In the meantime, go Lions! McKenzie Banking Company is an equal housing lender, member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. No matter where you are, You can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. For the past 22 years, Tennessee Tractor has been committed to you, our customers. That's why our locally owned business delivers great John Deere products with great service at a great price. From the backyard to the back 40, whatever size project your family's got, you can rely on us to help you get it done. From our friendly staff to our reliable equipment and our quality service, Tennessee Tractor has one goal, to keep you and your family up and running. Hometown value, hometown service. That's Tennessee Tractor. We are a team, a team composed of highly skilled physical therapists, with new school treatment approaches and old school customer service principles. We are a community presence because we know our foundation rests in relationship building and involvement. We are leaders in this industry and we're putting in time daily to develop that aspect of thinking. We're more than a business. We're a team composed of individuals governed by a set of core values. We're more than a physical therapy company. We're a movement in the profession. We are your premier physical therapy team in West Tennessee. Your life, your home, your business, your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. Believe in family. Believe in your fellow man. Believe in daddy-daughter dances, home-cooked meals, and bedtime stories. Believe in honesty and an honest day's work. Believe that love and faith make the world a better place. We do because we believe in you. We're Farm Bureau Insurance, and we don't just believe in Tennessee. We believe in Tennesseans. Farm Bureau Insurance, Tennessee's insurance company. Call Farm Bureau agent Travis Vance at 731-661-0102 or see him at 285 North Parkway in Jackson. Hello, I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, a family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. You know, home buying can be a long and confusing process, especially in today's market. While our Home Sweet Home Loan program offers incredibly competitive rates and allows you to keep your loan local throughout the entire life of the loan. So start your financial conversation with us today by visiting foundationbank.org or calling us on the number on the screen. In the meantime, go Lions! McKenzie Banking Company and Foundation Bank are an equal housing lender and member FDIC. Walker Wealth Solutions LLC offers experienced and diversified services throughout the greater Tennessee area. Walker Wealth Solutions specializes in water well drilling operations. They are experienced in the design, construction, and maintenance of wells from 4 to 16 inches in diameter and depths up to 1,000 feet. Walker Wealth Solutions has three locations in Somerville, Brownsville, and Trenton. For a consultation, give them a call at 731-779-1275. And welcome back to Trinity Christian Academy. My name is Stan Gerard. We are entering our fourth hour of broadcasting here on the Ballgame Blitz Sports Network and the Trinity Christian Academy Facebook page, all that produced by Worthy Road Studios. Four hours and most of it we spent talking about rain. But this is what we do. We will be playing baseball here soon. The water is off the field. And except for the kitty dry that you see around home play area, you really can't tell that it even rained here. Uh, the, the, they did a good the, – the tarp did its job. There's one little section somewhere that had a leak in it on a corner. 
But that water was sopped up quickly. They used some uh, old uh, mattress, uh, or not mattress, uh, covers from sh- from uh, foam covers from seats and chairs and couches. They put those on, sopped up the water like a boss. Then they got the kitty litter out, the drying agent, and sprinkled it all around. And they've dried again. They've worked again. And we're getting set for baseball again here in West Tennessee. I would be willing to say that when we return to baseball, this will probably be the only game going in West Tennessee. So call your neighbors, call your friends. We got a couple things of baseball to play here, and that gummit, we're going to get her done. For TCA, down six to nothing, middle of the six. It's going to be the heart and soul of the TCA lineup coming to bat. Uh, according to my shield, be Nick Jones, Harrison Vance, Max Richardson, and Andrew Perry, the first four to bat for TCA. Going to be crucial. TCA had the bases loaded. In the last inning, and they and they could not get anything done. So we've got to get it done in this inning. You know, you don't have to get all six back, but it would sure be nice if we could have a bonsai run through this bottom of the six and make it a whole brand new ball game here at Trinity Christian Academy at 10 Windy City Road in beautiful downtown. Windy City, Tennessee. You can see the fans are returning to their seats. The umpires are on the field. Coach Hogue is marking a batter's box. Actually, it's Nick Jones measuring out a batter's box. I'm sure it'll be custom made to his specifications. But uh, we're getting things ready here. You see Nick, TCA player Nick Jones investigating home plate and to see how dry it is, see if anything else needs to be done. And he's marking out home plate, tapping the bag. And Slick Nick has pronounced it ready to play. The TCA team's huddling with some last-minute instructions. And we're going to be back to baseball pretty quickly here. Within the next few minutes, we're going to be playing baseball here in West Tennessee. When we come back, we will be in the bottom of the sixth inning of play. TCA with six outs to go in this ball game. Do we have any other cameras left, or are we just operating on one tonight? Do you want Okay, so we've got, we, we're got we only going to be using one camera for the rest of the night. Just one. They're all four ready? Good. I thought in that storm we'd probably end up taking a couple of them down for the night. But we'll be back to full strength here in West. Can we go through those cameras? Let's take it, take a shot through here and see what we see as the Jackson Christian team comes on the field. There's the center field camera. And we'll click to the next shot. There's your first base side camera. And then there is your left field side camera. There you see after all this weather, there's still people sitting on the beach. The beach, the upper area there by the back of the uh, softball stand. There you can see the amount of key dry they're pulling the field. You see the puddles around the dugouts. But that one shot there gives you a good look at the kitty dry. And we're going to see who's on the mound here. Zach Creasy is going to come on to pitch for Jackson Christian. So it'll be Creasy on the mound to try and hold it out for Jackson Christian this evening. TCA wanting to get a hold of some. Guy gets started early and often. Needs six to tie. And get back into this ball game. And as we said, looks like it'll be Nick Jones, Harrison Vance, and Max Richardson. The three that we're going to count on 
to get this party started here at Trinity Christian Academy on 10 Windy City Road in a beautiful, dark, windy and wet West Tennessee, Windy City, Tennessee. Creasy continues his warm-ups. And we're going to be back to play. Alabama playing in the background. Would love to be able to bring you some of that, but the tools at Facebook say no. Creasy, a hard-throwing right-hander. And congratulations to the TCA ground crew, well, which is basically the coaches and the players for getting this field in plain condition here after this hard, hard rainstorm. We got lucky, and we stopped the game in time to where they could get the tarp on the field. And we are ready for baseball in West Tennessee. How about it, folks? And I'm just about out of battery on this one phone, so I'm going to have to charge it up a little bit. And the first pitch, low and outside, ball one. Who almost ran my phone out of juice. I appreciate it. But 2-0. and oh. Pitch, low and inside. Creasy goes 3-0. and oh. He falls behind. On Slick Nick Jones. Off the outside corner for a strike. Three and one's the count. And a walk. So with work to be done, TCA gets the first one on base. It all starts hill here and it starts with a Nick Jones walk. It will continue with the first baseman, Harrison Vance. As he steps to the plate. Here's the pitch. Outside corner for a strike. Hey, call your neighbors, call your friends. We're still playing baseball here in, at Trinity Christian Academy. Swing, drive, short hit, fielded by the third baseman. Nice throw over to first. And, yeah, boy, he hit that one hard, but it was the third baseman coming alive and making things happen, making the throw out at first. But that does advance the runner to second. And it'll be Max Richardson batting. Got through there for a base hit for the Lions. Runner rounding third. Oops, he's going to come back. He gets in the way back machine. And Max Richardson, he's not ready to go down yet. He gets a hit. Advances Jones to third. And we've got Mill in the corners for the Lions. Andrew Perry, the batter for TCA. Andrew walked in the third. Andrew pitched five. Look out. Runners going to go home safe. He slid under the tag. Safe. TCA with the first run of the ball game as Nick Jones streaks home for the Lions. Slid under the tag. Richardson advancing to second. And the first run for TCA is on the boards. At this point in the game, you take them any way you can get them. Two balls and no strikes to Andrew Perry.
High heat, swing, and a miss. Two balls and a strike. Well, we've got it started. Now we just got to get that train rolling downhill. Second pitch in there for a strike. It's two and two. So Nick Jones comes across for the Lions, and we're on the board. Takes strike three. And there are two outs. John Brooks, the batter for TCA, the catcher. Brooks 0 for 2. Heat and a miss. Wally Jackson Christian shipping and receiving departments have a little consultation. The count is no balls. And one strike, Jackson Christian leading. TCA six to one on the corner for a strike. No, no balls, two strikes. Here's the pitch. Fell off the mound. Runner's going to advance to third. Is Richardson? No, he's got. A So a man on third, two outs. Inside and high. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Here's the windup in the pitch. Swing and a miss. The strikeout. But TCA gets on the board. They have one run on no hits, no errors, and one left on base. We go to the top of the seventh. It's 6-1 Jackson Christian right here on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. Legends never die, but your AC unit might. Routine maintenance and repair by McCoy's Heating and Air now will keep your system running at full capacity and potentially avoid costlier repairs and downtime when you need your AC the most. Our York certified and trained technicians are the best in the game. Go home to comfort with spring maintenance from McCoy's Heating and Air. The Bonus Cash Extravaganza is underway right now at Carlock Nissan in Jackson. In addition to dealer discounts, get another $750 bonus cash on Nissan Sentra, another $750 bonus cash on Nissan Altima, an additional $1,000 bonus cash on Nissan Pathfinder, and $1,250 on Nissan Frontier. Plus, rates as low as 0% and 3.9 for 84 months. The Bonus Cash Extravaganza, underway right now at Carlock Nissan. Van Drive, Jackson. And welcome back to Trinity Christian Academy. We move into the top of the seventh. And Jackson Christian leads TC by a score of six to one. Owen Franks is on the mound for the Lions. He'll be charged with the task of holding them at bay. Owen Franks on to become the Lion Tamer tonight. Owen Franks in limited varsity action has pitched 4.1 innings, an ERA of 4.84. He's giving up two hits, five runs, three earned runs, and he struck out eight. Owen Franks, I saw him pitch in a JV game 
last week at Owen Franks on the mound. I was very impressed with him. He did a good job mixing his pitches up, moving around, and he fielded his position very well to boot. Had like three or four fielding opportunities, and he was boss on all three of all four of them. So Owen Franks on the mound, and he'll be charged with holding the Lions at bay. Need a one, two, three inning, and then we gotta get busy because Papa's gotta have a brand new bag. Bagging for Jackson Christian will be the DH, Carson Holt. Now, remember, Carson Holt is the one who did the damage to TC back in the third with a three-run homer to right field. That opened up Pandora's box. There's a pitch on the outside corner for a strike. And those held up as they led 4 nothing. Then they put on two more in the sixth. But it was Holt's jump. It was Holt's long ball play to right field that put the distance on the Lions for Jackson Christian. Pitch a little high. Three balls and a strike. Oh, and God put this one across the plate. Pitch. Holds outside. And it's a walk. Zach Creasy, who's now pitching for Tees or for Jackson Christian. And we're going to see some more changes. <laughs> Crazy, who's now on the mound for the Lions, or for the Eagles. Here's the pitch. Swing. Got the. They said he was safe. Wow. So, runners on first and second. No, it was a ground ball first. The runner, Colt, advances to second. And Creasy was the first out. Went to first, and then he went to second. That'll bring up Daniel Green. Green over two. Grounded and popped. Hit. Right field. It's going to be a gapper. Perry Fields, it's going to limit him to a single, throws it back in. And another run scores. Holt scores from first. On the Daniel Green single, he advanced to second on the throw. And that makes it 7-1, to one, so we're back to the six-run lead for the Eagles. Austin Kelly, the batter for Jackson Christian. He started on the mound. Swing and a miss. And Owen ahead of the count. 
No balls and two strikes. Hit. Oh! In the left field. We tried to skywalk it to get that ball and just over the outstretched arms of the shortstop, Owen Atwood. And it's a base hit. Runners on the corner. One in, one out. Well, he was as high as he could in this heavy, heavy air. To get that ball. Wild pitch, almost outside. Brooks goes out to get it. There's a swing and a foul out of play. There, that shot right there, you can see how much speed drive they had to pull onto the infield to soak up all the water that was on the bagging area. That's a great shot showing all the speedy dry on the field. And I say speedy dry, it's a, I know it's a NASCAR term, but the stuff basically does the same thing. Pitch is inside, two and one. Here's the pitch. Foul it off out of play. Checks the runner and the pitch. Swing and a miss. And Jack Collins is the first strikeout victim for Owen Franks. Two outs. And now bring Eli Smith, the catcher. To the mound. Little hit up the middle. Seeing eye single scores a run. I mean, you could have hit that thing any more of a straight line. And two are in in the inning. And it's now an 8 1 game. Crowd kind of quiet. Runners on first and second. Frank's pitch. Popped it up. And Brooksy with the out. But the damage was done for Jackson Christian. They score two runs on three base hits. There were no errors and two left on base. Last gasp of gas for the Lions, and it comes up next right here on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network. Why go on vacation when you can live on vacation? Aloha Custom Pools will help you create your very own piece of paradise, and you can enjoy it every day. What are you waiting for? Take the plunge. Call Aloha Custom Pools or visit us online. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local.
Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. We move into the bottom of the thir- of the seventh inning of play here at Trinity Christian Academy, Jackson Christian, in a game that started at four o'clock this afternoon, and is now eight o six. I've been on the air with you folks for four hours and twenty one minutes. Four hours and twenty one minutes. I've talked to my favorite people in West Tennessee. That's not a bad gig if you can get it. First pitch, taken for a strike. Quickly ahead of the count. Oh and two. Pitch low. Two balls, two strikes. Franks. Hay and Connor Quarles spot. Swing. He fouled the ball off out of play. If that's a knock on the door, I'm not home. Pitch high. Owen Franks has worked the count full. And a walk. Owen Franks does his job and gets on base. C.J. Lewis to bat for the Lions. C.J. having a tough go of it at the stick this year, but he has hit the ball hard over the course of the last couple of ball games. I mean, I forget whether it was Milan or Brighton. A couple of times he gave the ball a rocket ride. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Swing and a miss. Checking the runner back. Reach for it. Popped it up. Underneath it. And the out. That brings up the top of the order for TCA. It's Owen Atwood with one out. Owen Atwood. Harris Smith and Nick Jones. Harris Vance and Max Richardson to follow. Well. If we got a brand new bag, it's going to happen right here. Pitch is a strike. Swing and a miss. That will get in the hole 0 and 2. Pitch, foul, got to play. Turned on it early. Pitch is going to be outside. One ball, two strikes, one out, one on. 
crease. He looks, fires, hit right to the third baseman for the double play. Safe. So, Franks is out at second. At was at first on the fielder's choice. Harris Smith, the batter for TCA. Right now, the last gasp of gas. Pitch is high inside for a ball. Low outside, ball two. Kind of a quiet crowd. A lot of the crowds left after that long rain delay. Pitches. Now they call that a strike. Way on the outside corner. Two one with two outs. Oh. Another called strike, 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. And the ball works the count full. Full count, two outs, a runner on first. TCA needing some action. Pitch low on the ball. So Nick Jones comes to bat. He's walked twice. He struck out, walked twice, and scored back in the sixth. He scored our only run of the game. On the outside corner for a strike. Pitch, popped it up, caught by the center fielder, and that's a ball game. Your final score, 8-1, to one. Jackson Christian. We'll take a quick timeout. When we come back, we'll put a bow on this one. The postgame show is on the Ball Game Blitz Sports Network, and it's coming up next. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. It's the off season, but it's the best season to buy at Aloha Custom Pools. Snag your dream pool now, and we promise you'll be splashing around by Memorial Day. What are you waiting for? Give us a call or visit us at alohacustompools.com. We're back here at Trinity Christian Academy. Jackson Christian is one by a score of eight to one. Jackson Christian with one in the second, three in the third, two in the sixth, and two in the seventh for their eight runs. They had nine hits and one error. TCA with one run in the sixth for their one run, five hits, and one error. Batting for TCA, Owen Atwood was two for four. Matt Richardson, one for three. And Quarles was one for two. C.J. Lewis was one for three as well. For Jackson Christian, Cooper was one for five. Jones was one for two with a run. Holt. He did the damage, had a home three-run home run, one for three. 
with three RBIs and two runs scored. Green, one for three with a run scored and an RBI. Jack Collins did damage tonight, three for four with a run scored and an RBI. Pitching for TCA. Andrew Perry pitched the first five innings. He took the loss, five innings, four hits, four runs, four earned runs, eight strikeouts, and three walks. Connor Quarles pitched again, two hits, two runs. Al Walk, Owen Franks came in, gave up three hits, two runs, two earned runs, a strikeout, and a walk. TCA pitching, seven runs, seven innings. Nine hits, eight runs, six earned. TCA pitching struck out nine and walked five. Pitching for Jackson Christian. Andrew Kelly is the winner. He pitched five innings, gave up four hits, struck out seven, and walked two with a very nice performance. Zach Creasy came in with mop-up duty. He walked, or he pitched two innings, gave up one hit, one run, one earned run, struck out two. And walk three. Our next broadcast for TCA will be, it will be on next Monday, a week from today, as TCA takes on Tipton Rosemark, Rosemark Academy. We'll have the first pitch of that ball game at, we'll have the countdown to tip off pregame show at 6.15. I'll have Jackson Christian at TCA Middle School Baseball Thursday on the West Tennessee Sports Network. I appreciate each and every one of you sticking with me tonight throughout this rain delay, four-plus hours of baseball talk. Until Thursday night, uh, unhappy final, it is 8-1, to one, Jackson Christian. For the voice of TC Athletics, Diamond Dave McCulley, my name's Stan Gerard. Good night, and much more importantly, God bless everyone. <laughs>Sports Network from Worthy Road Studios. Over 750,000 views in 2023. We're where you need to advertise. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and join over 4,500 subscribers watching local sports. The Jackson Rockabillies, Union University, Bethel, USJ, TCA, Jackson Christian, Sacred Heart, and Peabody. Multi-camera broadcasts, slow motion, instant replay, on-screen scoreboard and graphics, and professional announcers. Thanks to our sponsors who make it all possible. The Ball Game Blitz Sports Network from Worthy Road Studios. The premier sports broadcast network in West Tennessee.